Hey guys, Robert here, and on another list of Pro Teaches Noobs, I have returning Bianca again. What's up? And today we're going to be going over the reunion um, books of the uh, J.M. DeMatteis, Keith Given, and Kevin McGuire, best known for the blah ha ha Justice League era. And yeah, this was formerly known as the Justice League. There's also... I can't believe it's not the Justice League, which we may go over in the same one. We may do it a separate one. It depends on how long this goes. But what's your um, knowledge of this era? Nothing. Nothing. I at know all? they exist. <laughs> well, this I'll just say Kevin McGuire's artwork, as you can already tell from here, is very expressive. The guy is one of those few creators who is best known for uh, incapable of doing multiple pages nothing but heads you know head talk talking heads but mm -hmm. each one has like a, every panel has a different um expression that makes it worth it whereas others just do the all like yeah okay and say so like <laughs> yeah um okay you know like that be i mean look at the redhead expression <laughs> what you mean mary no redhead redhead oh uh elongated man <laughs> Yep, um, Ralph Dibney. And uh, yeah, see, but, but, um, using uh, fire to marsh do some marshmallows, and his wife Sue is like, really? <laughs> well, here we go again. So yeah, I mean, ah, Earth, the magnificent oceans teeming with life, the cities choked with humans who strain towards the heaven, but are forever denied their answer. Yes, High Nine, you're doing it again. Oh, so I am. Sorry. What about the metahumans? Reports indicate that and, and indicate that incidents of spontaneous generated superhuman abilities are up dramatically from our previous count. Well, that can't be good. In fact, my lord, it stinks. My concerns lie not with the mass of the metahumans, but with the devils who swore to my will again and again and again. What a black day it was when first I encountered Please, sir, if you don't stop, I'll be forced to mount an intervention. Of course. Now tell me about the Justice League. The league we once understood it no uh, longer exists. Its UN charter has been dissolved, as in and as have their embassies. The target is no longer JLA affiliated. Then where is he? With him, Maxwell Lord. No need to shout, sir. Force a habit. At any rate, Lord should present no problem. He is nothing but a cyborg. Your denseness. A cyborg? When did he become a cyborg? You're yelling again? It's my ship, High Nine, and I'll yell as much as I damn well, please! <laughs> what do you think so far about the bad guy's voices there? Yours? No, no, I mean the dialogue. Oh, the dialogue's super funny. <laughs> remember, and I remember, we already went over some of their stuff with um, Hero Squared, so it's that similar bit where even the bad guys have these little side conversations and all that. Yeah. It reminds me of that. Yep. Oh, but yeah, this is Big Belly Burger. Basically their version of Big Boy, except the guy, the, the mascot's face is supposed to be a joke on um, Roger Stern. <laughs> oh, oh, th thank you for choosing Big Belly Burger. Have a reasonably bearable day. Reasonably bearable? I do not believe in giving people false hopes. Come on, <laughs> old friend. Are things really that bad? Um, are my ocular units deceiving me? Nope, it's me, Maxwell Lord, in the flesh. Oh, sir, 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 I never for meant, meant for you to see me like this. Then standing in the drive through window wearing a silly hat was really bad idea. What in the world are you doing here? It's only part-time, old beloved lever, lever, leader. Elrond, you're one of the most sophisticated cybernetic mechanisms. I prefer the term life form. Most sophisticated cybernetic life forms ever encountered. False humility is useless, sir. What is and what you say is true. And I repeat, what are you doing here? INS rules, oh beloved leader. You register with the Immigration and Natu Naturalization Services? I am a law-abiding, sophisticated cybernetic life form, sir. Get in the damn car. My shift isn't over until now. Yes, oh beloved leader. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is Max Lord before he became the big villain. Oh. In fact, when we in the next mini happened almost right around the same time that they had decided they were going to do OMEC project and everything with Maxwell Lord being the villain. <laughs> so this is before the retcons of everything. Okay. So don't yeah. expect him to be evil anywhere in this. He's actually a good guy. And stop. Mm -hmm. 
and stop calling me that. Yes, oh beloved, yes, sir. Has it really been that bad? I tried computer repair, but I have uh, I had friction with my coworkers. And it's not as if you, I know, I know, not even a Christmas card, sir. If I had a heart, it would be broken. You can't guilt me, Elrond. I don't have a heart either. So why is it you've taken me away from a promising career in the fast food business? I'm going to need your help with this if I'm going to pull it off. What is it you are pulling off exactly, sir? If you need the police, Elrond, who do you call? 911? Exactly. And if you need the JLA or the JSA or any other group of individual superheroes, what do you do if you need metahuman help? I usually, just, I, I usually use the signal watch Superman gave me. It never fails. Sarcasm. How unlike you. Try and try serving jolly meals to rabid six-year-olds with for a month. It will change you too, sir. But to the question at hand, you see what I'm getting at? I do, sir. And I think your life must be more pathetic than mine for you to even consider such a thing. The, and the people's heroes, Elrond. Accessible, neighborhood, interactive, moronic, doomed to failure. I think it can work, Elrond. You mean you think you can make a bundle? It's a non-profit organization. Oh, sir, come now. I'm not kidding. I must have the wrong Maxwell Lord. Was, it re was I really that shallow? Shallow is too small a word, sir. Lovely pace, by the way. Is this where you're living? This, my old friend, is where we make our dream reality. Our dream? If I did not, if I, I do not dream, sir. And if I did, this would qualify as a nightmare. What happened <laughs> to old Elrond? You were such a boot-licking lackey. Well, yes, and a damn good one. Now, tell me the truth. Would you rather be back there flipping burgers or beginning a new adventure? The answer, I'm afraid it's most humiliating. Count me in, sir. Great, at Elrond. Yes, you can call, you can call, you can call me old beloved leader. Now that I think about it, it's got a great ring. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean with this dialogue? It's just so funny and everything. Yet you look at it, the artwork is so you know you know what I mean. It's just so plain looking, but it's meant to be that way. Obviously, it's very uh, expressive, as you said. Oh, what was the faces he have? I'm just about the setting. You know, like just normal building and everything. Yeah. But the dialogue's what carries you through. Like, you're, and, and you're, and you're the buffoon, Ted. I never joke. Well, and yeah, well, that's true. I, hey, who are you calling a buffoon? See, we're having fun <laughs> already. Just like the old blah ha ha in the old days. Blah ha ha and all that. Yeah, I'm, get, I'm splitting my sides. Seriously, Ted, I've got the resources and the will. But your brain, but your brain cells are irreparably damaged. What do you mean? Let's see now. How can I put this? It's a rot. It's a rotten idea. It's a great idea. Yeah, you were there, Ted. We saved the world in spite of ourselves. Okay, so you've got a point there. But if we launch again, do it right, un unencampered by government and corporate interests, we'll still make intergalactic asses of ourselves. Never seemed to bother you before. Times change, Max. People change. I've changed. How much, do, uh, uh, how much do you, any of us ever really change, Max? What? I have a heart condition. Meaning? Meaning? I have a heart condition! What part of that don't you grasp? So you can't, what? Eat as many Twinkies as you used to? Push as many butt and buttons on the bug? Doctor cuts you down to ten jokes a day? Max, I can't do this. I don't want to do this. I might die if I do this. Booster's in. I'll definitely die if I do this. You two on the outs all of a sudden? I don't want to talk about it. I just want to... Right, let's not talk about and talk. Let's act. I'll have my secretary fax over the contract. Have you not listened to a single word I said? I know you, Ted. You know someone I used to be. With you, it's not the words that matter. It's what's in your heart. What's in my heart is this little plastic valve that... Welcome aboard, Blue Beetle. Expect our, and those contracts in an hour. But I, I'll call you first things in the morning and we'll finalize. Max, you don't understand. I think you'll find the benefit package generous. Max, I'm not going to. How generous? That was Blue Beetle. Yeah, that's Ted. Oh wow! I did. I now, thought there was I... a point where he did have a heart condition. In fact, it was mentioned that he and um during Birds of Prey, which is the place where he had appeared and it was introduced, that he had a couple of minor heart attacks without even realizing it. Ooh. So this is Keith giving Jam Jam Mateus poking fun at it, saying like. Really? That's what's stopping you? 
I mean, heart conditions are serious, though. True, but I think it was more of a case of them poking fun at it, at how, oh, this was clearly done to try and get him off, you know, to get, you know, to try and play, let's retire him thing. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was more I did not, than, I didn't, like, because of how his costume is, I never imagined what color his hair would be. <laughs> it's always been brown. Ah, yeah, but I've never seen him without the costume. Ah, okay, okay. But what do you think about Max so far? He's... Why did they change him into a villain? Um, it was a case of... There were always teases of him possibly being a villain, and they wanted to have a person that used to be with the Justice League that they trusted be, um, being a turncoat. And then later, Judd Winnick actually did give a decent explanation, although it would make this story kind of hazy with it, was that... After, um, when, when um, Co City went kablooey during Return of the Superman, or Reign of the Superman, his mother was there and got and killed. So he kind oh, of wow. blamed a lot of the heroes for causing that to happen. Of course. <laughs> Again, it totally makes some of the, it makes sense if you ignore these minis, of which then later stories would kind of imply that this is a separate universe altogether that just leans on events that happen in the main universe. Mm, okay. So if you want to look again, but at the moment when these came out, this, like this one, for example, no, no problems. Fit perfectly in canon. The next mini, you feel like, ooh, what's go you know, it makes you wince. Especially the stuff with Ted and Max, given how Max is the one who put a bullet in Ted's head. Oh. Yeah. So again, it's best now to just look at it as like a separate universe altogether. Well, that sucks. He, this guy reminds me of Reagan from uh, Mob Psycho 100. <laughs> I don't know about that. I, I've never seen that, so. No, I, I know you've never seen it. <laughs> you're doing if you were dead or alive. Neither, neither term is applicable in my case. And then you just show up at our door. A delightful surprise, is it not? I don't know. Is it? My present here has disturbed you. I can leave, but then Mr. Laura will be greatly disappointed. Uh, Mr. 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 Lord, as in Max, our beloved leader, yes, our beloved Le uh, Max sent you here. Why? Your tones are highly suspicious, Mr. Elongated Man, sir. With justification, sir, I am an agad. Uh, when has our beloved leader ever done anything to abuse, uh, uh, arouse your suspicion? Hmm, permit me to rephrase that. We are happy to see you, Elrond. Really, and I have to say that we're intrigued. You're intrigued. I'm Ralph. <laughs> you have to excuse him. His sense of humor and froze solid in 1959. But the rest of me works just fine, as, as my lovely bride will attest. Well, and well, uh, well. Now that you mention it, the rubber body parts do come in extremely. Ha um. So, what does Max want exactly? You know, I don't even ha I think we should be having this discussion. I mean, do you have any idea how many brunches and barbecues I've invited Max to? Not to mention the card games and the movie nights. Ralph, did he ever come what and come uh, and once come? Did he ever even bother to respond to the invite? Ralph, I'll shut up now. Oh, Why does his face looks like they're drawn in like meme format? <laughs> But like he uh, traced it over. Like, again, no, it's being expressive. Like these are real people making these expressions. No, that's exactly what that meme format is. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> but that's what he did. That's what McGuire excels at. Ouch. Can we can we cut to the chase, Elron? If that means we dispense with and uh, with and and in a and in a in the nights and to discuss the matter at hand, that would be a great relief. I think we've just been insulted. Actually, I think you've been uh, just been insulted. Mr. Lard is fond of you two on the, uh, the professional and personal levels. Your contributions to the European League were inevitable. First he insults us, now he's buttering us up. I know, and I think it's lovely. And so Mr. Lord would like to know if you'd be any interest in participating in non-profit meta-human partnership that, yes, just, and, and, and just tell us where and when. But don't you want to know the specifics of we're in? And if Ralph doesn't find something constructive to do and fast, we're gonna end, going to be ended up in a padded cell. Do you know how sick I am of all of his brunches and barbecues and card games and movie nights? Don't forget those god awful movie nights. You're in. I wonder what Metamorpho and Doctor Light are doing. You know, you know. At one point, I was so desperate, I came close to joining the new Doom Patrol. 
Doom Patrol, <laughs> you were willing to join the group called the Doom Patrol? May as well join the Suicide Squad. Pathetic, huh? Indeed, Mr. Elongated Man, sir. Now, of course, this was during the point when after Morrison's run and after um, Rachel Pollock's run, where the Doom Patrol was kind of in a hazy area. Mm. So is she a superhero, too? No, that she's just his, uh, his wife. She's the one during Identity Crisis who revealed to have been raped by the, the villain, Dr. Light, not the, oh. the female hero. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, but of course, that, that again, well, but this is well before any of that. Okay. All right. What do you mean you don't see the appeal? Oh, uh, this is fire. You know, fire and ice. Like a woman yeah. on a woman on fire. It's what I do, Max. Yes, but well, you can't really see anything except fire. Exactly. You're naked. Well, no, but then they don't know that. I mean, <laughs> imagination when fueled by hormones. It's an extraordinary thing. So let me get this straight. People pay to enter your website so they can download pictures of you on fire, fire because they believe erroneously that you're, you've got it. No, I don't. It's really quite brilliant. I make a small fortune. And like those other bimbos on the web, I don't have to demean myself to do it. It's beyond demeaning. It's diabolical. Who asked you? What are you doing here anyway? First thing we'll have to do is shut down BladingFire.com. Excuse me? You know, I, you know you're not naked. I know you're not naked, I guess, but we've got an image to uphold. Ah, what you mean, we, Kimosabe? It looks, and it's why I've looked at you up after all these years, Beatrice. I'm going to hate this. I just know it. Ted loved the idea. Ted Cord? Uh huh. Thought it was a brilliant idea. What the hell are you talking about? No, you wouldn't. I mean, no one in his right mind would ever. Max? Is there going to be a website? Give it up, Man of War. You haven't got a chance against the mighty. He kept it at him. And oh, he, the look he's give, having. Oh, come on. Look here. It's the um, Kingdom Come look. Oh. Like, but yeah, basically he's tossed around and everything dealing with this tentacled head guy. Ooh. And yeah, he takes him and Elrond blasts him out. Oh, ma uh, uh, Man of War. Hello? Geez, must have had a heart attack or something. Not exactly. Elrond! Are there any other cybernetic life forms that you're on a first name basis with? Not that I have a last name, although perhaps Ron is my last name. But then, what kind of first name is L? What are you doing here? And why are you shooting my arch nemesis? Is this, uh, is this the kind of arch nemesis you've been reduced to? I did you a favor by shooting him. What's that supposed to mean? Really, sir? You're a human nuclear reactor. You could have incinerated him in, fi in five seconds into your. In in Hold on, what what is into your imbro imbroglio? Imbroglio? Isn't that some kind of Italian cheese? The point is, sir, that you were toying with him, or perhaps with yourself. I stopped toying with myself years ago in order to maintain the fiction of a challenge. Even your dialogue, if I might if I might say so, sir, was quite cliché. You haven't got a chance against the mighty Captain Adam. It just so happens I pay a guy over a hundred bucks a page to write this stuff. Highway robbery, sir. <laughs> just tell me what you want. I have no personal desire, sir. I exist to serve the will of our beloved leader, Maxwell Lord. A contract from Max? What, he couldn't come ruin my day in person? Some of the others require more direct and personal cajoling. And I'm getting the indirect, impersonal cajoling from a robot. Cybernetic life form, sir. Mr. Lord believes that you would share his vision and not need the special handling that our more emotionally challenged comrades do. He really wants to do this. And you agree with him? Mine is not the reason why. Mine is to avoid serving jolly meals at all costs. Although I was growing fond of the silly hat. What are you, ta what are you talking about? Let's just say that my life has been in uh, fairly humiliating of late. I understand. I'm sure you do. One look at that new costume, man. I know, I know. The guy who writes my dialogue has an artist friend who, with all due respect, sir, this isn't a comic book. This is real life. <laughs> I think the joke is what to be Mark Wade and Alex Ross. Why um, Alex Ross? No, well, Alex Ross is the one who did Kingdom Come, so he designed that look. Oh, how well, do I It's a play him? for Jab, because the last time, by this point, the last thing people saw him in was in um, Kingdom Come with that outfit. 
Oh. Although the coloring here does not make it look anywhere near as good. Of course. Normally, I, I, I mean, it fits for everyone else, but for, for this outfit, no way. All right, so it's come to this. Yeah, and a terrific this at that. You think uh, you think what you've done uh, uh, you think what you've done to yourself is terrific. Suddenly there is a problem with lux in, uh, living up in a lap of luxury, but it's not your lap. But it's a nice lap. She's thirty years older than you are. I'm from the future, Max. Everyone's older than I am. Booster, you're a kept man. Yeah, ain't life sweet? You're shameless. I'm honest. And what's wrong with me hanging out with a mature Roman? Beats the jailbait you usually have on your arm. I'll have you know that Lola is 26, 22, and barely. You people in the 21st century are so sexist. Older man, younger woman, fine, great. Younger man, older woman, call out the Inquisitions. Okay, okay. I apologize. I mean, the judgment you bring to all uh, to all uh, matters of all sexual pre. You what? I apologize. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You never apologize. It's against your religion. Maybe I've changed. I haven't. Why should and why should you? No, no. If you're apologizing, you want something. And what would you want from? I'm in. But I haven't even told you what. Max, she watches Golden Girl reruns on Lifetime every night. She's at four face lifts. My God, the woman's all mouth. And she has me put on my costume before we. Please spare me. No, spare me. I'm in. I forgot to warn you. This isn't anywhere near as grand as the JLI. Where do I sign? I'll have my secretary fax over the contract. I don't suppose you're willing to uh, stick around while I tell her about this? You know, a little moral support? That's what I love about you, Booster. You always make my, me laugh. I don't <laughs> think so. Uh, basically, then they're trying to get Billy to join in. His name is Billy? No, no, Billy Batson. Oh. Shazam? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I should point out, yeah, this whole thing about him dating an older woman, Dan Jurgers would later reveal, it was all a lie. <laughs> Then whose pad is this? Oh, it's his. Oh. It's all a lie. To, it was all a long-term to, uh, ploy to, my, to, to make Ted really think about this. And and he's still keeping up. So if Max talks to Ted, you know, he will just keep the lie going just to screw with Ted. Dang. Of that's course, commitment. That's, just, that's, just, that's just Dan's way of retconning this stupidity here. Because so many times, it, the one downside with a lot of what, Keith Given and, and um, JMD Mateus had done on some, like, not always, but sometimes is they're one of the ones who started the idea of Booster being more of an idiot. Now, mm. people, they're the ones who introduced the blue and gold pair and everyone loves so much, but they, they they're now they didn't treat him as bad. In fact, they still treat him rather respectfully. This whole thing with an older woman notwithstanding. But unfortunately, it's what got some people to think, oh, he's a complete another moron who would sell out his best friend for a grand. When he's not, and even when they wrote it, they never wrote him that bad. <laughs> uh, so he just wanted to trash on the Golden Girls, is what you're saying? <laughs> Possibly. Again, <laughs> it, 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 when in the context of this story, he actually is dating an older woman. In the context of the greater thing, what Dan Jurgens later revealed, he's full of shit. <laughs> okay, I got right. it. Is it your dis it, is it your decision to make? No, uh, no, but Captain Marvel and me, we're, uh, dating. What? Gosh, no! How could you even say such a, this is an enlightened age, comparatively speaking, and such things are no longer frowned upon by society, with the exception, of course, of televangelists. <laughs> Forget all that. I'm just telling you that Captain Marvel isn't interested. I have assurance from Mr. Lord that they, and that will have sing-alongs and s'mores every afternoon at four. Let me be honest here. Cap told me that, well, when he was in the league, yes... He hated it, but everyone hates it. That's half the charm. Wow, look at the time. I've got to run. Uh, here's my lunch meeting now. Lunch meeting? But we don't have a... For the love of mercy, Mary, just go play along, will you? Nice being you, Elrond. Uh, send Mr. Lord, uh, my best to Mr. Lord. Billy Batson, what's gotten into you? It's, it isn't like you to go around making up stories. If you know what he wanted, you'd have made up a story, too. But it was, that was dishonest. You're right, it was. Come on, let's duck it here and say the magic word. Shazam! And I'm so and I'm sorry. Well, man, but that robot, he was from the Justice League. Well, the old Justice League. You mean the one you who made fun of you for wanting to sing row, row, row your boat? 
Can we forget about that? <laughs> anyway, Mexico War is getting them back together. Some kind of low rent team. The common man superhero, or so the robot said. He was adorable, wasn't he? Elron? I can't say that I use that word. I can't believe he, he, he came barging in the newsroom like that. When do people get suspicious? Of what? That Billy Batson and Captain Marvel are one and the same. Now, why would anyone think that? Captain Marvel is the world's greatest hero, but when you're just plain old Bill and Billy, you're just a regular kid. Mm -hmm. Plain old Billy? So, you really think it's a bad idea, this new team? I didn't say it was a bad idea. I said I didn't want any part of it. Mary, you have no idea what it's like working with those people. They're not like us. It's like they all come from a parallel universe. But I think, let's not talk about it anymore, okay? But, look, I've got to go. I'll see you back at the office. Oh, man, superhero. Hmm. It was a long shot. I'm sure you did your best. No, I'm being sarcastic. I've decided to leave that to you, Elron. What? Call you Mr. Ron? Why should I? Hmm. When you get back, must we go through this again? Technically, you are cargo. And no, you don't get frequent flyer miles. Look, if it was up to me, you'd go first class all the way. But the airline, where did you ever learn such language? I did not! Can we please change the subject? All told, Blue Beetle, Booster Gold, Fire, Elongated Man. How'd Sue get it here? I see. You don't do clerical. Uh, do clerical. My mistake. And Captain Adam. Right. Did you ask him to do something about that dreadful coloring? He looks like an Oscar. I want him back in silver. Pronto. Are you Mr. Lord? Mr. Maxwell Lord? I, 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 I've got to go, Elron. I'm sorry. I didn't hear you come in. Is there something I can do for you? Oh, golly, I certainly hope so. I think I like her red better. You do? Well, th yeah. at this point, though, they had to be white for the long and for this longest time. But what do you think about that for the first issue? That was great. That was fun. Uh, he's not going to develop a crush on her, is he? Oh, no, none of that. Okay, I thank you. Goodness. None of that will happen. <laughs> but what do you like so far? Mm, probably elongated man. <laughs> Wait, why did he add Sue on there? No, because Sue comes with the deal. Sue is always there. Even if she's not going to be a superhero in charge, she's always going to be involved helping out for moral support or helping out DHQ, usually helping Max along the way. Oh, that's kind of cool. But yeah, open for business. And <laughs> are we, I mean, yeah, we get the bad guys. <laughs> okay, sure. Are we, I mean, are we cloaked? We could take off, I mean, off all of our clothes and dance across the hall and no one would see us. And have we entered geosynchronous orbit? If you mean, have we parked yet? Yes. Cute and cute little planet, if I may observe, sir. Believe me, High Nine, I've had several contacts with this malignant mudball and it is anything but cute. They are warlike and, and venal. The majority of their people go to bed hungry. They desec and desecrate their environment, feed on their wildlife. Oh, the humanity, the suffering, the, if I may say, so, hey, sir, you are such a downer and a melodramatic one at that. My anti-fusion medication, I forgot to take it. Not to worry, sir. We'll have J-Lo fetch it for you. <laughs> Thank you, High Nine. Now, co and, co and coordinate... Co and in quadrate coordinates, increase magnification by a factor of 10 and very funny. I live to amuse you, sir. Just get to the proper coordinates, but download that image to my quarters for further study. As you wish, your prudentness. <laughs> so this is their current headquarters. Rather shabby, don't you think, my lord? Extremely so. But then, so are they. And don't you have something better to do, B? Like help me set up the computer equipment? What do you think, Sue? A seven? Him? Wake up and smell the Streisand. He's gay. How do you know? Well, for one, he's been studying Max's butt the way you've been studying his. I still say he's a seven. Maybe even an eight. You know what they're doing, right? Yeah. Judging yeah, they are in bed. Yeah. <laughs> you don't actually rate men on a scale of one to ten, do you? Of course I do. Don't you think it's a tad juvenile? Not to mention sexist. You're only saying that because you're married to a four. Excuse me? Nothing to be ashamed of. I'm sure Ralph has his enduring qualities, most of which escape me at the moment. But you got to admit, on the physical level, he's a four. I, I'll have you know that my husband is loving, compassion. He's a wonderful sense of humor. He, he's a four. He has a flexible body parts. Hmm? How well, in that, but how well does he use them? How well does he, see, definite four. Now, plastic man, now there's someone who knows how to. Hey, ladies, 
What you doing? Oh my God, I'm married to a four. What'd you say, sweetie? Now there's an eight. You're both doing, you're not doing that, that thing where you rate men on a scale of one to 10, are you, Sue? Oh, and oh, does she, and, oh, does she do that too? All the time. I'd be embarrassed, it'd be embarrassing, except she always tells me I'm a perfect 10. Perfect? In his way. My wife, on the other hand, couldn't be rated, because she's off the scale. That's my hubby. Well, gotta go talk to Max. He is a four, but I really love him. What do you mean I'm a four? He heard you, you think? <laughs> <laughs> and again, just look at the facial expression, right? Yeah, I love it. Oh my god, I'm married to a four. <laughs> uh, this is my first time seeing a uh, fire with uh, uh, short hair. Yeah. I'm so used to her long hair from the animated cartoon. Oh yeah, yeah. But even when she's in her fire form, it looks like she has longer hair. Uh, yeah, I realize that. That's weird. <laughs> yep. Uh, you know, Elrond, there wasn't this much paperwork involved in setting up the embassy. That's because you delegated whatever you and you didn't want to do, which, by the way, was quite a bit to Oberon. You're right. You think maybe you can? I'm a robotic lackey, not a personal secretary. Although if you and chase me around the desk a few times, I might be persuaded. Uh, that was an attempt at humor, sir. I hope so. Good old Oberon. He may have been surly and rude, but I, I, I certainly got good nap time when he was around. I've called him, sir, and he hung up on me. Call again, 27 times. Oh. Max, am I a four? Or, I don't have time for this. You don't even know what this is. Correct, and I don't want to know. Now, why don't you sit, go set up the aquarium or something? We don't have an aquarium. Then go buy one. Of uh, course, sir. It's a human thing. You're a human? Of course I'm human. Humans as a species can stretch? Of course not. It's just so happens I drink an elixir made from an essence of a rare tropical fruit and... That sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? Only if one thinks about it, sir. Yeah, well, uh, I was brain robbed by a radioactive rubber band, okay? Well, done. <laughs> thank you, sir. Out of the way, bozo. Hey, don't think on me just because I'm an eight and you're only a four. Sue! That was the attitude. <laughs> no, but, but a nice tush. Well, that's a different guy. No, I think that's a... No, you're right. It is a different guy. I, oh, but, okay, now this is funny. Look at these guys. When you just by looking at them, you think typical street gang, right? I think of Luke Cage. <laughs> yeah, like, good grief, Moses. Are my eyes to see me, or is that an airborne insect? I believe that's what the vehicles used to and used by the so-called superhero named Blue Beetle. They are descending upon our, if you'll excuse the curriculum, turf was arming rapability, and so they are. Let's buy and let and let's bust their they ass. Excuse me. <laughs> just indulging in my fondness for the vernacular. Please, Jerome, you know I find such and degradation of the English language offensive. No more offensive than the incursion of those, these costume harriers is into our neighborhood. And I say, let us lambast their derrieres. We <laughs> could engage them in a well-reasoned debate. And, and then Samuel has that, and, and when Samuel has that ever borne fruit, alas, Lawrence is correct. They have di um, dis disrespected us by lumbering into our neighborhood without so much as a by your leave. And I feel constrained in our only recourse. Why look, and why look, fellows, here comes that delightful spectra Grant Garion, who me and uh, whose meager goods we occasionally pilfer for the sheer delight of it. Good afternoon, Mrs. Malone. Bite my wrinkled butt, you no account street trash loser hoodlums. Heavens, that was so uncalled for, given our often bosuous and Ill illicit tomfooleries many in the neighborhoods just fear us. So much the better. If we're, we're to rally them against this crass and metahuman intrusion, right. So let's, and let's, bu and bust they ass. Jerome, do you know they're very intelligent? <laughs> now that's funny though, isn't it? You see these street hooligans, but they talk very, you know, like you're just like, uh, are they all geniuses? <laughs> I couldn't even understand most of what the heck they were saying. <laughs> <laughs> With all these big that's, words. That's, that's that's the joke. I know. <laughs> I'm just saying I don't know their big words. Mm, I, Yay, new costume. I know, I know. I should really just turn around right now. It'd be a total idiot to go down there. This is a terrible mistake. It's going to destroy my reputation, such as it is. Humiliate me, me in front of the whole world. 
and my head is going to explode from the sheer onslaught of lame jokes. All right, now, uh, uh, now that I've explored the upside of signing up with Max, time to look at the negatives. It, uh, uh, why, hello there. Gah! Oh, I'm sorry, didn't mean to startle you. Well, you did. Good God, girl, a little warning next time. Oh, darn, what an awful way to meet my new super and my new teammate. I don't suppose you'll ever and you'll ever talk to me again. Well, it wasn't that bad. It's just I was lost at thought and did you say new teammate? Mary. Mary Marvel. Mary Marvel? I had no idea there was a Mary Marvel. Oh, and there and what oh, oh, there are more of us than you can imagine. You should meet the bunny. Buddy? He's so adorable. And the way he do, he beats the dickens out of those bad guys. Yes, well I'm Captain Adam and Adam. No disrespect intended, but bye. Something I said. It's just I might want to have children someday. What? You know the radiation? Radiate? You've got to be kidding me! No offense, Captain. I'm sure you're a lovely person, being in the military and all. Aren't you Mil Marvel supposed to be invulnerable? As Uncle Dudley likes to say, better safe than sorry. But my energy is self-contained. I've never leaked once. As mask? As Max? As any of them? I'm as safe as a nuclear power plant. I'm. Let me rephrase that. It doesn't mean we can't be good friends. I think I, I just think we should be chummy from a distance. Nice meeting you. Yeah. So did she think that she was gonna disintegrate or something no, like that? Become sterile. Sterile. She, she wants to have kids someday. Uh Yeah, that's what she meant. But what is what is he? How does he? How would he? No, make no, no, his... no, no, no. Because he is radiate radioactive, but his suit does keep it contained, as he tried to say. Oh, okay. I didn't know he was technically radiation. Oh yeah, he's always been that. That, read that suit of his, if it was to um, break, sometimes he will explode. Other times he will just leak radiation. But basically, yeah, he has sentient energy and a containment suit that looks humanoid. That's right. That's a costume. I keep thinking that's his actual body. <laughs> no, no, no. That's a costume. That's a suit. Because it covers the entire face and oh, no, everything. Well, okay, well, yeah, and no. hair. In, basically, like I said, he's sentient energy. Yeah, okay. So that whole suit is basically now it takes the form of his normal body. Okay. Uh, uh, I can't believe you shacked up with a 65-year-old woman. I didn't shack up with her, Beetle. I married her for her money. Well, yeah, but marriage is a lot of fun, on rare occasion, when she's out of town. Look, Booster, it's not the age thing. Is it the facelifts? You had a facelift? No, the wife did. Quite a few times, actually. And a tummy tuck, and she had cheekbones done, and it's not that. Uh, that, if you love the woman, I'd be dancing up and down with delight. But you don't love her, do you? Let me think about that. Hmm, hmm, no. Then it's just not right. Hey, when did you turn to Mr. Maturity? Right after you finished 12th grade for the 15th time. Actually, it was the 14th. If you're going to assault me, be accurate. You're an idiot. Do you know that? Uh-huh. I'm too stupid to figure it out. I really hate to admit this. What? But there's a part of me, a uh, very small, but I can't deny it exists. No, no, I won't say it. I won't say it. You missed me, didn't you? Maybe a little in a vague and nauseating way. Why is that so hard to admit? Look, Booster, it's the same as it was in the old days. Things have changed. I've changed. You're not going to give me that heart condition routine again, are you? Routine? It's not a routine, it. You know, I'm a firm believer that people don't ever really change. They are what they are, and I, 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 down, uh, down, Desi. He's, she's only 16. Hey, you're Booster God, aren't you? That I am. And this is my lovable but dim-witted psychic, B Blue Beetle. Golly, I was hoping you'd get here soon. I'm so excited to meet you both. If you if you think you're excited now, just wait till you get to know me better. Uh, Mr. Gold, did you by any chance have dental work done today? Dental work? Why? You're drooling. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, then they're constantly having all of these arguments and everything. Uh, uh, deja vu, sir. You could say that again. We could just sneak out the back. Let's save that op option for when we really need it. For now, I think I'll com convene the meeting. And that's pretty much it, people. Any questions? I had to ask. B, this, this exploiting of our image. What if we were already exploiting our image? I thought you agreed to shut down BlazingFire.com. They still got the posters and the t-shirts. And the 900 numbers? Shut up, Booster. 
I don't see any conflict of interest as long as agreed that money generated by the group are funneled back into the group to cover overhead and such and such. Define and such. Advertising, marketing fiends, what kind of advertising? Anything, Mr. Lord? Whatever kind is necessary to get the message out. A message being, we'd like to hear that one for ourselves. Hold on. Good thing. Uh, and seeing as how we have a common interest in this neighborhood's welfare. Uh, and we do have a common interest, Mr. Lord. It depends. Are you saying y'all shut up, you idiot, before I have you neutered? Woof! You'll have to excuse my colleague. He's got a sense of humor that just won't quit. Although gun wish I knew, I, and God knows I wish it would. I'm so pleased to meet you all. Representative of the community, eh? I've been meaning to call a meeting. Can, can, the, can the slick talk, Mr. Lord? We know all about you. You do. Oh, well. Oh, that could be a problem. And, yeah, they tried to, like, and, and searching the notice specified place and time, stated plain as day, clear and concise. Then where is everyone? It's possible that the neighbor is far less alarmed than we are about the metahuman incursion. Or perhaps knowing we were the ones issuing the call to arms, the locals fearing for their lives, I to remain home. Fearing for their lives. When I urge you all to leave Harvard with me, skewing the confines of academia for a richer, more exhilarating life on the mean streets of our childhood, I never dreamed it would come to this, loathed by the fairy people we seek to protect. Perhaps it's because we scared a living excrement out of them. I applaud you, Lawrence, for avoiding the more vulgar way of saying the same, but you may be correct. So they were from Harvard. Dang, they left Harvard. <laughs> on. So I'm just having a bunch of um, stuff popping up from, uh, hold on, I'm going to go, give me a moment. I just got to um, mute something because I'm getting a whole bunch of notifications about something. It's like, uh, okay, knock it off. Okie dokie. Just a moment. There we go. Oh, wait, what's weird? Call to action by the order of the E Street Bloodsuckers. <laughs> and they won. Oh, stand up and be counted on, or else. Really? <laughs> and these guys are wondering why people are afraid of them. Funny enough, they, this, they wanted enrichment from the outside, but they still don't get how uh, something like this can be considered. And and they're still acting like the hoodlums that they look like, and yet they think that they're not. <laughs> exactly. That's why I think it makes it so funny. They're Harvard um, students, super intelligent, and yet they still act like the hoodlums, but they don't realize it. <laughs> exactly. Especially yeah. when they said about that one elderly woman who they pilfer food from for fun. But they still don't realize why she was so nasty to them. They uh, pill for food from her? That's what they said, but they said it in a big worded way. What it was that mean they steal they steal food from her or something like that? Yes, they do. What the <laughs> And yet they still felt like good good afternoon. Kiss my in my butt. Like that oh was rude. Gosh. Probably because they felt they're smart enough that they were entitled to it. Oh, I can understand that. I'm not being egotistical here. I just think B's totally wrong. I mean, if we're going to be rating men on a scale of 1 to 10, there's no way I'm a 7. Oh, really? Then what are you? An 11! You're confused, Bat Booster. That's your IQ. Hardy har har! <laughs> still, the, and still, the, the, and still the master of the clever comebacks, I see. I can't believe you're falling into this trap, Gold. Trap? Letting the women objectify you like that. Reducing your value as a human being to a meaningless number. Uh, what do you know about it? You're just a four. I'm not a four! You just had to get him started again, didn't you? And will you stop pretending you're so mature and above it all? Has it ever occurred to you that maybe, just possibly, I have matured? Not for a second. You're hopeless, you know that. He's gotten so touchy. People change, you know. You've got to accept that. I certainly do not. 
What could possibly be taking them so long? Maybe they hung Max up by his feet, uh, by his feet and out uh, and on, uh, and gutted him. Oh, they never do anything like that. They seem like such lovely people. Must you be such a Pollyanna? Oh, that's my favorite movie. What's in and Haley Hills adorable? I mean, but I was just heartbroken at the end when she uh, fell and hurt her leg. I think I'm going to explode. Not on the rug, dear. Well, Disney was a true genius. Oh, boy, they're really happy on Mary's naivete and sweet girlness. Never heard of Pollyanna. Uh, me neither. I mean, I've heard the phrase. All right. Worried that your presence here will make this neighborhood a target for every meta criminal for a prank to prove or an act to grind. That's Delium. I'd argue that our presence will act as a deterrent. That has never proven to be the case. Ever. That's telling them. With all due respect, Miss Turtle. Tuttle. The idea of, that superheroes are manics for supervillains, that somehow their very existence simulates the creation of tension of their opposition, well, I find it pat patently absurd. Well, then, your eyes are in denial. Or a moron. That's really telling him. I see no need for name calling. You're right. I apologize. Well then, but then we see no need for your presence in our neighborhood. So why don't you leave? Shall I terminate her, m my lord? No. What did that thing just say? I am not a thing. I am a cybernetic life form. If that walking mixmaster thinks he can threaten me, please, please, can we all just get along? <laughs> no. Again, isn't the humor in this funny? <laughs> Yeah. And see what I mean here as well? A bunch of talking heads, and yet they all have different expressions, whereas anyone else would just kept them all in stationary positions with just subtle changes. All right. they, and, they, and they actually sent a delegation and didn't include us? I'm beginning to suspect our sociological experiment has been a crushing failure. No, Moses, by assuming the persona of a so-called street tough, we've experienced the raw throw of life in a way we never could as scholastic protégés. And though our ex exhibitions of Philippian inquisitionists, we've managed to frighten the genuine criminal element away. But everyone hates us. And I suggest we prove our noble intent by driving these metahumans out. Agreed. And I believe it's my term. It certainly is. But remember to pass it on should defeat seem imminent. Okay, then. Let's bust their ass. Perhaps in this one instance, that an elegant sentiment is appropriate. Yeah, they have some type of shared power. What? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm now like, what the heck is that? <laughs> I know. Now an alarming sinking. And now, now, alarmist sinking will never. Yonkers was nearly decimated because there wasn't enough alarmist sinking. Yonkers, Metal Man, the 97 responder malfunction. I fail see, uh, to see how our robot malfunction Yonkers relates to. It's not a, it's a chance we're not willing to take. Just a small death, my, uh, my sir. Please. It's Fakum. 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 As in, I told you so. His kinetic blasts are proving more efficient and so far, but he's still, and he will be facing formidable adversaries. I do hope our Samuel is careful. I can, I wouldn't want him to hurt himself. Doom! Unhand me, and val and val and virulent, virulent. I minored in Elizabethan literature, primary Shakespeare and and, Mar and Marlowe. Oh, what is going on here? The usual. That's what I was afraid of. Fire some help here, and he's just a kid. Can't be more than eighteen. You're, they don't look eighteen. No. <laughs> your point. Well, and how will it look if our first time out we roast a local teenager? How will it look if our first time out a local teenager roasts us? Hi, I'm the stretchy guy that no one takes seriously. And you ever wonder and what it would feel like to be smothered to death by a grown man's rubbery body parts? You wouldn't. Maybe not, but you'll know that for sure, do you? Jerome, little sense assistance here. Do it. Do what? That. I do not enjoy, enjoy or even condone violence. But if, if it must be used in the name of a grander cause, so be it. Well spoken, isn't he? Yeah. And did you see that cranial discharge? What? The sparky thing that came right out of the other guy's head. Oh, that. <laughs> Better get and get behind my force field. Prepare yourself for a sound thrashing. Your presence endangers the denizen of this locality. You will respect our territorial claims and this depart post haste. Very well spoken. But brains aren't everything. Hey, you and you got them all plugged up in there. See, I may be vain, shallow, and egotistical, but I have to get the job. I can get the job done. I have to admit that was sweet. 
No one met that, and what a thrill it was working with me again. As soon as you met, I matured. I'll do no such thing. And why must you be such a quick catch? Catch what? The cranial discharge. The what? The sparky sea. It goes to the other guy. Ah, how exhilarating. Oh, never mind. How exhilarating. Excellent catch. Do you see the young lady in the, sh in the short skirt first? Uh, uh, skirt? Come on, we've got to. Don't you dare. I want to see what, if anything, little Mary Shun Sunshine can. Brrr, smack! <laughs> you? Oh, she can do all right. You know, maybe Max didn't make such a bad choice after all. And sorry about it, but he uh, had it coming. Don't apologize on my account. Weren't there four of them? Number four is over in the corner pleading for mercy. Lawrence? Um, some Tylenol, if you will, Jerome. I'm getting a terrible mi uh, migraine. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You were trial prodigies who went off to Harvard when you were 15, correct? And then you decided to come back to your old neighborhood, mo hoping to clean up the streets by becoming the toughest mothers on the block? Awkwardly stated, but essentially correct. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Dumber than you and Beatles starring a vacation resort in Ku on Kui Kui Kui? Well, what the heck? of course. Now, where do their superpowers come in? The source of our abilities, I'm afraid, remain a secret. Oh, well, I'm off. I, I'm off, I feel off about all this. They were just trying to help in their charming sociopathic way. You know these those kids? Local delinquents. Local genius metahuman delinquents. Whatever. But you did do a passable job on containing them. Why, Miss, uh, Miss Turtle, are you smiling through gritted teeth? Does that mean, welcome to the neighborhood, Mr. Lord, for now? Wonderful. Perhaps we can discuss our future plans over dinner and, uh, don't even think about it. Another time, then. Isn't it, darling? They like each other. Whatever you're thinking be, don't say it. So what did you think of that? That was fantastic. Pretty interesting. Unfortunately, uh, I won't be seeing the... The, the Harvard hoodlum boys again. Yeah, unfortunately. They were such but, a good uh, highlight. Yeah, but but overall, though, I mean, what did you think about those guys? And those guys? Oh, they were great. Now, next one. Ooh. There's a reason know. behind all this. Is it actually going to happen? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. But yeah, basically, things have not been going very well. So many people are like, yeah, you know, they don't like this idea. And they're calling themselves the super buddies. <laughs> <laughs> and look, it's meant to be like the super friend, by, like the old super friends. Oh, Miss Marvel, Mary Marvel looks terrible. <laughs> but the whole joke is they're meant to look cheaply made. Yeah, I know. Like, ask for Ron. Was that great or what? They are strangely silent, my, my lord, lord. They, I must assume that their eyes are all, overawed by your presentation, or mass vomiting will shortly ensue. Aw, uh, definitely aw. Uh, you don't really believe that. No, but denial can be a marvelous survival tool. I think it would be wise to flee at once, sir. No, Elrond, I, I, I want to hear what they have to say, I think. Good, because I believe Captain Adam is trying to re attempting to regain his ability to speak. What the... I have never my life. What were you thinking? I just loved it. Well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the facial expressions. Well, look at B. She's all like, "Why am I not surprised?" Uh, uh, where are the buttons? Don't have any buttons. Then how does it work? Don't know. Don't care. What do you mean you don't care? Look, Herman, they, they ain't paying us to work the thing. They're paying us to deliver them. So get your chubby butt in gear and go, will ya? Why me? Because I'm driving, and you and you look more like an overnight express guy. What are you talking about? I don't even have a uniform. So tell them you're one of the neighbors. Uh, uh, neighbors. Uh, on. Your neighbors will, and will get delivered to your house by mistake. I don't know about this, Lamont. Look, they're not supposed to be the brightest bunch on the block. I bet they won't even ask you a single question. Son of a gun, he was right. That rubbery guy didn't ask me anything, except if I wanted his autograph. I guess they are morons. Oh, so dang let's go. It. Not till it happens. Not till what happens. Beats me. What do you mean, beats me? Look, Herman, all I know is you deliver a package like that to guys like this, and something's got to happen. Something like what? Shroom! Voila! And, and viola! Don't you mean voila? Whatever. Now let's go collect our dough. 
if you if you ask me, not another word, uh, and, or you'll be serving jolly meals before sundown. My lips would be sealed, sir, if I had any. Okay, okay, roulette, they're in. And very confused, aren't they always? And, and if I thought they were as ludicrous as the media makes them out to be, Mr. Kraken, I would never, I would never have brought and bought the, and brought them to the house. Yeah, this is roulette, a villainess who basically puts people through various things for. Uh, I'm a roulette. Oh, you know about her? Okay. I know about roulette. Yeah, I know somebody. <laughs> and the, the girl, a marvel indeed, Mary Marvel, uh, and presumed sister of heaven. We had a marvel, quite the JSA debacle. Oh yes, Black Adam. Although I still don't fathom why his name isn't Black Marvel. After all, there's Captain Marvel, Uncle Marvel, um, Hoppy the Marvel Bunny, and Mr. Kraken. My apologies, ma'am. Um, you see, I, I, you see, I'm something of a Marvel aficionado. Then tell me, is the girl as, po as powerful as Black Adam? Opinions vary, but I say they're very close to equal, and she's far more attractive. In fact, I have this marvelous poster of her over my bed that, spare me your nocturnal delusions. Do you think we should use her as the main attraction of our grand opening? Absolutely, and I'd be happy to dress her myself. I'm sure you would. Yes, well, <clears throat> docile, aren't they? Te and Technical's done a splendid job. So far, let's hope they don't screw it up. Now, what do you think about Captain Adam? Not my style, as noted. I'm a Marvel man. <sighs> what do you think of him as Mar Mary Marvel's opponent? Oh, of course. Brilliant idea, Roulette. Simply brilliant. All my ideas are brilliant, Mr. Kraken. You should know that by now. This oh, well, you already know where this is going, right? Oh. Pit fighting or arena fighting. Yeah. I just, I, I think my heart just fluttered. I'm flattered, but I'm still not going to bury you. Not funny, Booster. Yeah, yeah, you got a heart condition and blah, blah, blah. Why don't you believe me? Because for one thing, this is all part of your campaign to prove there and that you're more mature than I am. And another, superheroes don't get heart conditions. Oh, really? What about that guy in the armor? That's a comic book, Beatles. This is real life. He saw about <laughs> Iron Man, of course. Although this is starting to feel like a comic book. Superheroes abducted by a mysterious villain. What a cliche. You're right on that one, no doubt. In a few minutes, some pinhead in a costume more ludicrous than ours is going to walk through that door and sneer at us, vowing revenge for the parking ticket we gave him six years ago. Or maybe it's some yo-yo we never heard of before, and he wants to make us make his reputation by taking us down. As if anyone would care if he killed us. Five bucks say it's the injustice. Ten says it's a newbie. You're on. Does it strike you that we're taking this a little cavalierly? If that means what I think it means, then yeah. This doesn't make any sense. I'm telling you, he said he was a neighbor. I'm not talking about that. Yet? Then what, pray tell, are you talking about? I've just been abducted, correct? Correct? And what are you feeling right now? A little bored, and I'm starting to get hungry. In fact, a couple of crunchy cream do and donuts would really hit the spot, right? Aren't you at least be anxious, anxious, concerned, frustrated? Come to think of it? No. Feeling an awful powerful urge to escape? Actually, I kind of like it here. Simple, uh, un astoundish, maybe a, a nice clown baiting in the corner to liven up a bit, but how about your nose? My what? Here we are, smack in the middle of a mystery, and the elongate man's infamous nose hasn't twitched once. Does it make much sense, does it? That's what I said in the first place. So, pl uh, so plunk your magic uh, twanger, Captain, blast us out of here. I, I don't want to. Then how about a nap? I'm blushed. In other words, they're being altered through their minds and everything with these rooms to be content. Oh, that makes sense because the long rated man looks doesn't look like the type who would be interested in this type of thing. Nope. And again, as he said, his nose should be twitching, but it's not twitching. What what is it? Was there... His nose would twitch if there was a mystery, and it actually would do it. What? <laughs> it's a little gag. That's funny. <laughs> You know, I don't. <laughs> 48 hours minimum. No guarantees. 24 hours, period. No excuses. Now look, lady. Lady? Um, Willie, is it? Yep. You're new here, aren't you, Willie? Most of the tech team's new. And do you know why that is? Old guys quit? They were fired. Really? And do you know what happens here when you're fired? I'm starting to suspect. Let's just say there are no death benefits and leave it at that. 24 hours, ma'am? You're too good to me. The website? Up and running and totally secured. Design? Sweet, huh? Garish. 
but considering some of our clientele, utterly appropriate. And you think we'd at least do something first, save the world, yank a stinking cat out of a tree, a tree, Max? But no, the entire team gets kidnapped right in front of me before we even snag a news time cover or an e-true Hollywood story, Max? What? Calm down, you're going to give yourself a stroke. I'd enjoy a stroke right now. It would certainly be more interesting than standing around here like idiots doing nothing. You're standing around like an idiot doing nothing. I'm sitting and taking some action. On the internet? Uh-huh www.superhumanresources.com We're living in the age of the anal retentive. This website catalogs every known superhero exhaustively. Powers, group, alliances? I've never even heard of it. Of course not. You have a life. Ralph, on the other hand, spends endless hours looking himself up in all the search engines. After he found this site, I don't see him for a month. and I didn't see him for a month. A mixed blessing, I'm assume. I love him. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Now, let's see and who's got the capabilities of this kind of mass teleportation. Her face is so weird on there. <laughs> what? She's more like a, it's my, it's, I love him. That's my story and I'm sticky to it. No, her bottom lip. Oh, like, yeah, so like, out yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, these guys here, uh, like, for you, gents, what's our compliment? I'm always, always a sucker for a good compliment. Shut up, Ralph. Uh, care to answer a few questions? My pleasure. Where are we? You're the guest of the house. Just the two of us? No, no, the rest of your compatriots are here. You mean I'm not alone with them? Thank you, God. Sue, is Sue here? I haven't seen any Sue on the inventory list. Is she enhanced? Enhanced? You kidding? Sue is 100% natural woman. Unlike that mummified old bat booster married. I don't think he meant that kind of enhancement. Uh oh. So, you're abducting metahumans. Not me, personally, but that's the general idea. And you're doing this because, in your case... I'm baffled. I mean, Super Buddies, best guess is your comic relief. You know, like a Three Stooges short before the movie. Three Stooges? I suppose that would make you Joe Besser. Will you shut up, you're a, shut, you're a elongated mouse? That really hurt my feeling. Sorry, it's the stress. I understand. And the fact you're a moron. Enjoy your dinner, gents. Just because a man acts like a moron doesn't mean he actually is one, you know. Take Chimp, for instance. He's, take me with you, please! <laughs> I, I'm betting on little Missy here to take it in under 15, 15 minutes. I don't usually play the precision spread, but I got a gut instinct. This one is going to go down and fast. In English, please. Two sound and smacker says Mar Marvel girl here goes d and drops the atomic guy. Dead bang. But I'm buzz out front. Is that and buzz out front? Is that you jokers are pathetic. But I got a feeling that once you're under the lights, you'll. Wait a minute, what did you say about the atomic guy? He says you're going to drop him dead bang. I would never do such a thing. Why, I never even had a boyfriend. He doesn't mean that, Mary Poppins. He means, Kreak. really? No, you can't be serious. 2,000 sweet cakes, dead bang. So, you uh, you be sure I drink uh, to drink your milk and finish all your veggies. Just don't understand any of this. This is something new. Why are you always so catty? What can I say? I was born licking my fur. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Mr. Terrific? Yes. I wasn't talking to you. I was talking about Mr. Terrific. You know, from the Jets Society. Oh, what about him? He matches the M.O. There's an M.O. The flying balls. He calls them T-spheres. So you're saying the Judge JSA abducted our team? We at least have to consider the possibility. But it doesn't make any sense. Really, Max? After all these years, you're looking for the, for sense in life? Is it too much to hope for? Pardon the intrusion, oh helpless leader, but perhaps if we contact this Mr. Wonderful, terrific. I knew you liked the idea. No, no, his name is... You set me up for that, didn't you? Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's possible. You know, it's possible that terrific technology has been pirated, but unfortunately we can't just call him. Why not? Did it ever occur to you may that maybe, just maybe, Ralph and the others will be able to get out of this on their own? Oh, sorry. Accessibility, if you recall, is the reason I formed the team. But yeah, when they get out on their own... A novel idea. It's called Face. Well, it's a new one, but I'm willing to give it a try. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, yeah, they go out there. They're ready for the big fight with Roulette. Like, can you believe this idiocy? As if I'd ever raise so much as a pinky to one of my... Um, yeah, speak the word. We who are about to die salute you. And boom, they're fighting each other. It's the arena causing them to do it. That's very interesting. 
And notice how they went from one to boom. Dang, and that already, like, shattered her costume? Well, he blasted her. Yeah. Her costume's weak. But she wins. Finish him! Finish him! You don't, you don't think she's already... No, he's still barely and breathing. Barely. She's more magnificent than I realize. Uh, do you think when we're done with her that I could perhaps dream on, Mr. Kraken? I will. So what's it going to be? We've got June and June Cleaver down there acting like Hannibal Lecter. We've got to play this one out to the end. Mary Marvel, a murderer. Oh, dear. What will, ha what will Hoppy the Marvel Bunny say? I don't know about the bunny, but the people in the crowd who came here tonight expecting comic relief are eating their words right now. And when you can confound your audience's expectations, well, that's entertainment, isn't it? Entertainment and profit. And after she's finished him, get her friends up here. It's almost it's almost time for the bonus round. And see how he's leaking the um, energy? Yeah. Oh, she's yeah, going to be unsterile. Down. Yeah. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Uh, no. <laughs> hey, look, it's a girl, but she's on fire. Who cares? It's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> So you're telling me that they're no longer affiliated with the so-called United Nations? I thought we went over all this. Just answer the question, J-Lo. No, my lord. They're no longer affiliated with the so-called United Nations. Can I go to lunch now? And only Batman and The Flash and March and Manhunter are still affiliated with the current in incarnation of the Justice League? So I've told you, my lord, five times. <sighs> Did I just hear an exasperated sigh? Of course not, my lord. Robots can't sigh. Not if they don't want to end up as a hood ornament, they don't. My uncle is a hood ornament, my lord, and he's rather happy about it. Such sarcasm. Have you no respect for your lord and master? Only a modicum, sir. Where, oh, where's my loyal high nine? And where are you, uh, you on the bridge annoying me instead of him? Don't you remember, bear, my lord? The semester had started at the Manga Khan School of Melodrama, and high nine is teaching pomp and pomposity 101 this year. Oh, is that right? As I was saying... Let me just make this perfectly clear, my lord. These so-called super buddies are no way affiliated with the JLA. Hey, may I speak freely, my lord? You've been you you mean you've been censoring yourself till now? You are Lord Manga Kind, Supreme Commander of the Cluster. You are feared and loathed across the galaxy. Yes, well I what do you mean loathed? Fear is one thing, but you, and you can be afraid of someone still and think they're rather charming and that's not the point, your obtuseness. And what is the point? You are exercising uncustomary caution where these super buddies are concerned. I have my reasons, but we have power to dec and decimate planets. What threat could they possibly pose to? Let's just say that the cluster has a prior history with these metahumans, and that mistakes were made. Mistakes, my lord? But one so flawless as you could not possibly make a mistake. Sarcasm again, J-Lo? A modicum. Did I mention that my patience has its limits? No, my lord. But thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> this way, this way. Oh, oh, and look at this. Like, open her up. Just give me a quick before it triggers a general alarm. You mean it gets louder? All right, let's get in there before Roulette gets wind of. Whoa. Hi, fellas. Got a fire extinguisher in your pocket or you just happened to see me? Hey, I know her. I paid 50 bucks to have her on my screensaver. She got this great website and she set the whole damn cell on fire. <laughs> well, and, yeah, well, that's her name. Fire. She does stuff like that. But how could she? Didn't she put a head whammy? And then we put a they put a head whammy on her to keep her in line with the others. Uh, shouldn't we be spraying her down or something? You try to spray me down, boys, and it's really going to cost you. I'm on fire. That can't bode well. <laughs> so, uh, uh, like, uh, they're supposed to be like contained in there with their powers, right? No, actually. No. Oh, that I thought that would be something they would think about. I think they would. <laughs> Very but interesting. We see I'm, I'm also, but yeah, I, you've just been wrecked. You. How did you set my and cut my cot on fire and trigger an alarm? You could do that. Set my cot on fire. Even thinking of, and thinking uh, even think about setting your cot on fire. That's why they pay me the big bucks. Come on, how'd you do it? We were being mind controlled. My incredible will, coupled with my superior power of the female intellect. And that's it? Well, whatever <laughs> suggestions they planted in my head were in English. I'm from Brazil, remember? I may uh. speak English, but I think in Portuguese. Gave me enough wiggle room to power past their mind blocks. 
booster since an Esperanto, but it didn't help him. Any idea where we are and who sna- or, or who snatched us? All I know is the place is called the house. Haven't got a clue why they kidnapped us, what their plan is, or uh oh, uh oh, what? Have a look for yourself. We, and who are and we were about to die? What the hell is going on here? Gladiators! Take you as it's gladiators, and that's something of a cliche, don't you think? We're still missing one. Where's the elongated man? I don't know where. Yes, you do. Well, yeah, well, maybe I do. Oh, thump. Uh, Come on, Ralph. We've been, and and you've been rescued now. Let's, I'm ashamed to admit this, but I don't really want to be rescued. You know, you know, now that I mentioned it, I wouldn't mind going back to my cell. Our cell? I mean, it's so cozy. And the food's pretty darn good, good. Organic meat, no preservatives. I mean, we'd like to help you out, Fire, but it's just that we don't want to. Yes, you do! Well, maybe a modicum. A modicum? Right in the comic books. I mean, those comic book writers are really literate guys, you know. <laughs> yeah, except for the morons who used to write our book. I mean, did you ever meet those? Can I get some help here? Okay, okay. We can't put up much of a fight, and we're generally useless. But maybe we can go along with Fire. You know, keep her company. And then maybe with a little time, we'll get our willpower back in. Come on, this way! I'll try, but if things get messy, we run back to ourselves first chance we get. Great plan! God, this is really embarrassing. By the way, Beetle, what makes you so sure we're going in the right... Oh! But still, how do we know which... The arena booster, the arena! Yeah, right. That makes sense. Sorry we're not much help, B. Hey, don't worry. You never were. Thanks. I feel so much better now. Look, even with my Portuguese advantage, it took an incredible effort on my part to break through the programming... Let's face it, anyone who can turn Mary Marlborough into a homicidal maniac knows how to manipulate a psyche. So don't beat yourself up about it. You really can't help being such a useless, pathetic, impotent twit. Okay, okay, stop trying to reassure me! Hey guys, <laughs> this doesn't look good. Oh my god, she, she's killing him. Can she do that? I mean, can anyone actually kill Captain Adam? I don't want to be the first to find out, so let's pick up the pace. I know, you'll be right behind me. Yeah, for all the good it'll do me. Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! Finish him! And the sounds of singularity delight. The crowd adores her. What? But how did... You do realize that a roulette is going to... Believe me, even if you flee to Argentina, she shall find you. Isn't there a supergirl? We should look into that. We've got a problem. I trust it's a minor problem, Mr. Kraken. I really depend upon your perspective. Not bad, huh? Have a look for yourself. The others, right behind her. But how did they? Subliminal department is confused, to say the least. Subliminal department is dead, to say the least. I'm sure it can be corrected eventually. And you did order them to be brought to the arena. I think, uh, and think of the fun when that magnificent Mary Marvel kills them all. Not to mention the ra- rabid beatings. You've always had a knack for looking at the bright side, Mr. Kraken. Post bonus odds and open the gate. A reprieve for the subliminal department. It really depends on the day's gross, doesn't it? Mary, no, you're killing him! Oop. Mary, whatever they've done to you, you can stop it. This isn't you. You're no killer. You're a sickeningly sweet, unbarely naive, nauseatingly prudish Mary Poppins wannabe, remember? Get out of my perfect way! I can't believe you said that. Come on, kid, snap out of it. Tell you what. You be good, and we'll go back to our HQ, pop the sound of music into the DVD player, have some milk and cookies in, and I say, get out of my burping way! Hey, and even I wouldn't use language like that, and I'm a, to- a total bilingual trash mouse. But you, you're a role model of the Girl Scouts all over America. Think of little Susie and Sally and all of the gals of Troop 62. Ah, uh-huh. Great, now we've gone from gutter to, and the gutter to gutter, gutter all. Mary, sweetie, I know I'm, I've, I viewed you with a combination of contempt and disgust from the moment you arrived, but that's only because I don't like you. But the fact is, girlfriend, I like you even less this way. So come on, use your will. Do something. Don't let them dance you around like a puppet. Kill, 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 kill. This isn't working. What have we done? That girl is innocent personified, decency incarnate, and we've turned her into a money machine, which means a fat Christmas bonus for you this Christmas. Money isn't everything, Roulette, but it's close enough. This isn't good. I know. And you hear the mouse on, on her? I think he's talking about the fact that Captain M is dying and Fire's getting her butt kicked. We have to do something. Don't worry. It's on. How about go fish? Anyone got a deck of cards? I meant something a little more constructive. Hey, guys, either I'm mistaken 
or cap star in the league. How gross is that? And all over his uniform. No, you idiot. He's leaking radioactive material. My, my God, he could be melting down. I knew that. So what are you going to do about it? Me? You could hold him in your force field, contain the leaks, and stop Mary from killing him. Yeah, I could before we got here, before whatever they did to our minds. If fire could break through, then we can't. So can we. Okay, use your field, force field. I don't have one! <laughs> These marvels are quite marvelous, aren't they? I really think we should try to get the bunny in here. I could see it now. Batman versus Hoppy. And we can get Wolfgang Peterson to direct. <laughs> Wham! Okay, so I'm down, but I'm not out. Just give me a second here to get the world to stop spinning so much, and then... Hang on, Cap. I'm coming. Be right with you. Yes, sir. Just as soon as I wake up. <clears throat> Dang. And using the fourth field. No, 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 no. She's ticked. Yep. And when she figure out it's you, maybe now would be a good time to for that game of Canasta in Monte Carlo. Hang on a second. Something's up with Mary. Well, goodbye, fellas. No, it's not that. I think she's coming out of it. Huh? But I... How did all these people get here? Heads will roll. But how did a neurological what? Short circuit. And it's due to un undue stress. Oh, come... Uh, I'll be right back. He has left the building. No, he's still here, probably. Okay, so it's due to stress. Sorry about that. What are you thinking about all this? Uh, super fun. <laughs> Undue stress. Oh, come on now. No, I'm afraid a written note of apology just won't do. Indeed, dead as disco. That's right, all of you. You heard? Dump them. Pardon? Get those super losers out of here. If I may, Roulette, that doesn't seem the wisest. That merry girl trumped her programming. To the technical oversight. Regardless, she beat the house. And fair play. That's the original, Mr. Terrific. Oh, there's, there's a rigid... Uh, oh. Yeah, yeah, the black one is a, it was, it's, it's a successor. Oh. All right. Good going, Mary. I knew you could fight off their program. Beetle, what are you doing here? You don't remember? Mine's a little foggy. Where are we? How are you feeling? And how are you feeling, B? Like I could uh, puke my guts out. Well, I guess I'll be going now. Are you are you telling me you don't remember beating and beating Captain Adam within an inch of his ow? An inch of his ow? Could someone please tell me what's going on here? We'll fill you in after we bust out of this place. And how exactly are we going to go do that? Oh, I think I'm going to flush. Whatever, ha and whatever happened, we're clear. Now let's get Captain Adam to the hospital before. Whoa, hey, fellas, B's got a new power. Temp and teleportation bombing. Wasn't me, you moron. You mean you hurled all over me for nothing? Captain Adam, oh my gosh, I did it to him, did it I? It wasn't your fault. I could have killed him. So you think she, and you could, I don't know, burn that stuff off of you? Sure. And you're next. Testy, isn't she? Must be that time of the, don't say it. My lips are sealed. What about Cap? Can we move him? I don't know. Even if we can get him to a hospital, I'm not sure conventional medicine can help him. Yeah, the guy's a, nif a li living nuclear reactor. How do you treat a... Yikes! Yikes! As in, yikes, I forgot to pay my credit card bill? Nope. Yikes is... Uh, yikes. Isn't that Julia Roberts standing over there in a bikini? Nuh-uh. Then what? I think you better turn around and, and have a look for yourself. Uh, yikes! You don't think it has anything to do with us, do you? Sure, looks like it. Am I crazy, or is that thing hovering right over Queens? Oh, it doesn't it always. Next, the Wrath of Manga Khan. <laughs> it's the Wrath of Khan. Oh, yeah, and plus Blue Beetle on hold. Ferp! <laughs> you're kidding, right? Why would I be kidding? With all due respect, your friend is leaking. He's dying. No need to be testy, Mr. Beetle. Or should I just call you Blue? Look, you insufferable idiot. What do I do? Not talking to you, Booster. Oh, are you going to help him or not? I'd love to help him. Great. If I knew how, you might not want to get these people. I uh, 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 get these. Fine. Uh, 
I'm mad, I'm mad at us, doctor. They tend to hit first and then sink later. Good point. Nurse, 10 cc's of uh, something or other. I don't think it's going to penetrate his skin, doctor. If that is skin, well, then we did our best. Good luck to all of you. And when's the matter with you? I mean, didn't you take some kind of hypocritical, uh, hypocritical oath? You know, for, uh, you know, for you, that was pretty close. Honestly, we'd love to help your friend. But for God's sake, this is Captain Adam. He's nuclear, and he's melting down. He is not melting, de- melting down. Nurse, if you, if you, I want you to call the EPA immediately. You're calling the Environmental Protection Agency? In case you haven't noticed, Blue, you've brought a biohazard into our hospital. My God, man, what were you thinking? Hey, get a load of that caboose. Shut up, you. My, my, aren't we suddenly mature? And yeah, they're worried about what's going to do with the, the aliens. And I... Leave her alone, Ralph. Can't you see she's upset? You want to see upset? Wait till we get down there and tell Max what a disaster our first mission was. Mission? We weren't on a mission. We were ca- kidnapped. Correction. And, and correct the mundo. And Captain Adam's half dead. Not exactly a wonderful way to reignite our flagrant careers as superheroic icons. Will you stop talking about Captain Adam? Sorry, forgot that Mary's the one who beat him within an inch of his life. Ralph! Oops. Mary, listen to me. It wasn't your fault. You were mind control. You... Maybe Max is so distracted by all this alien invasion stuff that he'll forget to get mad at us. Anyway, we escaped, didn't we? And we're all in one priest, except for Ralph, you know who. Well, I guess we should go kick the bejesus out of these giant robots, huh? Hey, I just realized Sue's probably down there. I'm sure she's all right. She damn well better be. Anybody hurts my wife? Don't worry, don't worry. Sue's resourceful, capable, and bright. Nothing like you at all. Why do you think I married her? Mary, are you ready for this? It's not too late to book a fight to Kui Kui Kui. Primarily, uh, and, primar- and primarily, their offer has been tendered a wedding counter offer. Counter offer? There a problem, Mr. In- in Mr. Lord? Aside from the fact that I have no idea what you're talking about, no. I thought it had been extremely clear, but perhaps your, su- your humans are stupider than I presume. My, my intelligence, or lack of same, mm-hmm. has nothing to do with this. It all comes down to one thing. Right, Elrond's not going with you. Sue, can you let me handle this negotiation? Do you wish to discuss this with your female associate? There's nothing to discuss. You act as if we are seeking to abduct El- the Elrond unit, but we offer merchandise of great value to- in exchange for... Whoopsie. Uh, you think you can crank the window? It's getting a little sick in here. The merchandise will be silent. Uh, and Is there something alive in there? Look. Let me make this perfectly clear. Elrond stays here. He's not some object to be traded. He's our friend. I don't know why it goes that far. Sir, after all we've meant to each other. Okay, okay, he's our friend. Sort of. <laughs> Perhaps if I illuminate the canister so you may inspect the merchandise more carefully. This is the most embor- embarrassing moment of my life. And that's saying a lot. Nort! <laughs> Nort X and Espelay and um, N- Nishmacher, former Green Lantern. JLA member in good standing at your service. You were never a JLA member in any standing. It just so happens I had my Justice League Antarctica card in my back pocket before they uh, strip searched me. Justice League Antarctica? Oh, God, what was I thinking? And this, this flea infested disaster is what you want to trade up for Elrond? He, he is no longer a value to you? He was never a value to me! How can you, how can you say that about the guy who single handedly pulverized the Scarlet Skier? A moment, please. I must contact the cluster. Oh, he's adorable. <laughs> like, do you really do you really consider me your friend? Of course. Not a close friend, mind you, but this is an extraordinary compliment coming from a man as vain and narcissistic as you, my lord. Why, thank you, Elrond. And you will not return me to the cluster? Absolutely not. No matter what they may offer you. My lord, I'm thinking it over. <sighs> so much for my self esteem. Robot help, have self-esteem? Eat too, Sue. And transfer him where? Where? Tindenfield. And Tindenfield. Tindenfield. That's a nuclear waste facility. Exactly. Tindenfield's better equipped than we are to store nuclear waste. He's not nuclear waste. He's a, a human being. He's a, 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 we need, he needs a doctor. Know where we can find one? Look, I understand how you feel. You have to see it, my, like, uh, blue, Mr. Beetle. Sir, Booster, use your force field. Don't let anyone near Captain Adam, especially not that quack. I'll be back in a few minutes. Where are you going? To call Max. I don't want Max going to medical school. Just do it. Just do it. Jeez. Guy, guy gets a heart condition. He thinks he runs the world. 
Now, see here, Mr. Gold, this is a hospital. You never, you never know it. And I was strongly advised against. <laughs> uh, hurts, doesn't it? <coughs> Runs over. Yeah, to the phone. Where's the phone? Where's the phone? Where's the phone? Uh, right in front of you. Oh, thanks. And what was the number? One eight hundred. One eight hundred. Super. One eight hundred. Hero. Hot. One eight hundred. Help! I'm being stalked by a blood crazed super villain. Wait, I got one nine hundred. No, that's Fire's website. Okay, Ted, take a nice deep breath. Just because you're getting older doesn't mean all your brain cells are dead. You can do this. Just clear your head and think. What was the... Why can't I remember that damn number? Clear the area. EPA coming through. <laughs> so, yeah, basically, they're trying to get their way at, at um... But, yeah, and on. So we just gonna stand here wait, all day waiting for that th thing to sit and sing. Not a thing. Am I a thing? Of course you're not. He's not. Then, and, then neither is she. She. Your attention, please. You are soon to be graced by the presence of the egotistic eminence, Lord High Master of the Cluster President Emmet Emmetrius of the Manga Khan School of Melodrama, the most feared, revered, loved, loathed, rev uh, reviled, respected figure ever to start a spaceway. Does she have to do this? It's in her tra contract. And believe me, you're getting the short version. You sure that's a she? Let me put it this way. Hubba hubba. You're attracted to uh, her. Prefe and prepare now to gaze upon his wonder, his splendor, his grace and beauty. Prepare to be bored and bored beyond imagination by his pensiary for endless, tedious speeches. We used to date, but it didn't work out. Why not? Religious differences. She's Catholic. I'm Jewish. What? That was a joke, your denseness. And you know, and you know, I can see how you might call that a she. I mean, look at the way it widens out around the don't. Yes, dear. Hark, it's at, at the sound of unfettered violence and pro, and protuges obscenities. They're back! Behold, the magnificent, the majestic, the uh, officiousness and pretentiousness, master of all he surveys, the one and only... Shoom! Is that my mom? You're in serious... Is that my mom? You're in serious trouble. The merchandise will remain silent. Yes, ma'am. And refrain from drooling. I will not explain. Uh, uh, somebody cleared your century's clock. What is the reason for this unprovoked attack? Unprovoked my gorgeous Brazilian booty! Uh, what'd you say? You, you gun-happy R2-D2 started this! Ralph! Sue and Sue! Ca oh! <laughs> Come here, you big, strong, hunk rubber! Uh, Fire, you explain everything to Max. I got strenuous elasticizing to do! All right, before you say another word, let me warn you that I am in an extremely bad mood, but I, I'm serious. I don't want to hear another... That's not who I think it is. Of course not. Good, because for a second there, I thought it was Nort. Don't be silly. So that's just another big furry dog thing with the IQ of a splinter. Naturally. Well, come on, guys. Don't talk about me like I'm not here. The merchandise will shut up. Merchandise? <laughs> I... I'm so glad you're safe. I'm so glad you're safe. What about me? Shut up, Nort! You remember Manga Khan, the melodramatic uh, and me megalomaniac who ran the cosmic shopping network Elron used to work for? I don't want to know. Well, it seems he wants Elron back, and he wants to give us Nort in exchange for... I really don't want to know. Well, hey, weren't there three more? Beetle and Booster are with Captain Adam. I don't like the sound of that, Wes. It's not good. He's... I killed him! Don't panic, Max. He's not dead. Yet. I didn't want it to, but they made me... Oh, God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you think I could just get the... Not now! Drink! He didn't just hang up on me. Somebody tell me he didn't just hang up on me! People as heroes, huh? When you can't reach a JLA, you could always reach a super buddy. Come on, come on. Max is Beetle. Don't hang on me. He's important. Thank you for calling the Super Buddies Hotline. To report a crisis situation, press 1 now. To report a Super Villain sighting, press 2 now. For a list of local retail outlets carrying lights at Super Buddies merchandise, or to order by phone, press 3 da Tunk! There's got to be someone I can call. If only I had the number of the bat phone. Of course, I don't, and I don't know if he still has a bat phone. And even if he did, I still don't know if he'd let me ask and he'd accept my call. But wait a minute. Bat phone? That's it! Barbara! Hello? Oracle, Barbara, it's me. Hey, Ted, don't hang up! Why on earth would I hang up? Uh, you wouldn't, would you? Of course not, Ted. 
What's this all about? It's Captain Adam. I thought you said it was Ted. I, I don't have time for jokes, Barb. You don't have time for jokes? Cap's dying. And if I don't do something fast, I mean, can you imagine what the EPA, EPA is going to do with him? The EPA? The Environmental Protection Agency. I know what it is, Ted, but what's the, the EPA got to do with Captain Adam? He needs a doctor, but, and, and, but, but not a doctor, doctor. He needs a doctor who knows how to treat superheroes. Ted? Where are you? Lower Manhattan Medical Center. And if you don't help me, I'm going to end up have, uh, having to uh, fight my way into a nuclear waste facility. Calm down. You're his getting hysterical. I'm not getting hysterical, damn it. I am hysterical. It's bad enough. I was cooped up with Boozer for all those hours, but this. Okay, okay. Let me get this straight. Captain Adam's badly injured. And the Environmental Protection Agency wants to take him to a nuclear waste facility? Why is that so hard to understand? Stop yelling at me, Ted, or I swear I'll don't hang up. Just help me, Barb, please. I don't know what to do. Boosters was capped now, trying to hold off the EPA guys off. You left him with Booster Gold? I know, I know, but I didn't have any other option. Cap and Cap. He, and Cap, he's leaking all kinds of stuff. I don't know if it's radioactive or leaking. He's not melting down. Who say anything about melting down? Ted, you've got to pull yourself together. I am together. Can't you hear how together I am? If I was any more together, I'd be falling apart and falling apart. Um, that didn't make much sense, did it? No. Ted? Ted, are you? I can't take and let them take him, Barb. No one's going to take him. Just hang on a second. I'll see what... Okay, Star Labs has a metahuman treatment facility. Metropolis. And Metropolis? Nothing closer? Transport's not an issue. Star ramped up its medevac readiness during the war. How soon? Within the hour. I owe you big... And Barb, big time. You don't owe me anything handsome, except maybe dinner and a movie. Dinner and a movie? Handsome? You sure you don't, you're not mixing me up with some other guy wearing thick blue? <laughs> there was a thing going on with those two at one time. <laughs> oh. I did how? Again, isn't the Ryan is hilarious? Yeah. What's their age different? Uh, not that big, actually. Oh, okay. I'm better than, than Batman. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. She did say Manga Khan was coming down to deal with this in person. Unfortunately, yes. So why isn't he here? He spends an annoying amount of time on his makeup and the armor buffing could take hours. Great. I wouldn't be in such a hurry. Once he's here, I'm gone. He's not taking you, Elrond. Get that through your sick head. Uh, actually, sir, my head is composed of a super thin metal capable of resisting impacts up to, forget I said anything, I always do. <sighs> this is taking forever. Yeah, what say we duck out to a motel for a few days and then? You're staying right here. Who died and made you team leader? Ralph! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, God, I killed him. Uh, Sue, why, while we were, we were among the missing, I don't suppose you found anything about what happened to us. Kind of was wondering that myself. The best we can figure is you were abducted. And? And now you're back. That's it? Then and Mr. Trick kind of might have sort of was or wasn't involved. Oh, well, I certainly understand now why Max recruited you for the new team. You are positively indispensable. So what exactly were you two doing while we were being kidnapped, brainwashed, and beaten senseless? I resent the implication of who's implying I... <sighs> that must be Khan, the bloodsucker. Don't be... Not to be not to be a downer, sir, but would you, and you would do well to remember that the cluster has a history of violence, only as a last resort. Why, thank you, sir. Her for having such confidence in my insignificant, and I can't believe that you're so important to him that he's risked all out war with Earth. Uh, who's the roop and the robot chick with the humongous tush? See, you are graced by the presence of his egotist and uh, egotist eminence, Lord High Master of the Cluster, President and Mentor of the Manga High School. Oh, hell, I'm not going to go through all that again. Get your bow down and butts out here, meat units. There's no need, there's no to meet friends and root my friends, JLo. Don't you lecture me on lewdness, Elrond, as for what you did to my thermal circuits on our last date. Then did, he, did she just call us meat units? Did he just call her J-Lo? Now, mm -hmm. before we get out there, what you mean, we, Kimosabe? It would help our bargaining position if we had some idea of why he wants you back. I suspect, sir, that he lusts after me and wants to take me back as his bride. So you don't know? Not a clue. Okay, let's do this. Remember, you're incompetent. That is not simply my existence on the line, but the life of every man, woman, and child on the planet. You know, you really are a downer. With good reason, sir. Wow, what an entrance. Uh why was a uh why was fire in like a suit? 
Uh, uh, to their clothes. But I thought she does wear clothes when she turns into fire. She does, but I think it got burned up during the fight, not thought during around during the fight, or maybe it got burned when she had to burn off the cot. The cot. I'm surprised. Okay, so she does become naked at times. Way. Well, there. I know. Oh, well, there he goes. Sure hope they got him in time. Don't worry, Boost and Buster. That's Booster. I think your buddy's going to be all right. Like, yeah, like you give a damn. Excuse me? You heard me. Hey, I think it's a barrel last for us having to rush in and contain a leaking radioactive superhero. This isn't exactly something that pops up on a regular basis. I know, I know, and I'm really sorry. It's just, and he, he just makes me nuts. Me? what I do? Join the team? Uh, and so, uh, what's next? You're going to go off and beat that alien, the aliens in the big mother UFO? It's been at least 10 or 15 minutes in the last alien invasion. You guys must be game bored. Let Superman do it. I think he likes speaking up aliens. Helps him work out his childhood issues. How about you, Buster? That's Booster! By the way, I check in with a doctor pretty regularly for the next, oh, 40 years or so. What? You spend a, lot, a whole lot of time with the dude who is giving off a lot of ra uh, uh, rads. Rats? Start noticing anything substantial? Hair loss? You might consider giving those guys at Star Labs a holler. Three, two, one. Hair loss? Don't worry about it, Buster. I got, mm -hmm. I got a um, cousin in the toupee department. President certain Saddam Hussein is behind the apparent alien invasion. When, and when asked why Saddam would choose to invade Queens in a flying saucer, a White House spokesman replied, because we said so. It's the end of the world again. That's the only the, the, the only Vox News channel can bring it to you. When I think of all I miss growing up on Mars without cable television, glad you you're know, making up your depraved and making up for your depraved views. Were you eavesdropping dropping? You were talking to yourself. Should we get involved? Is there a reason to? And that sh a ship is hovering right over their headquarters. And it's of cluster design. I repeat. Should we get involved? Beetle, Booster, Manga Khan? Absolutely not. At least not until it gets out of hand. It hasn't yet. Believe it or not, no. I estimate half an hour at best before we have to pull their collective fat out of the fire. You know how I feel about fire. I thought you liked her. I wasn't talking about... Was that a joke? You know where to find me. Hands in one of those chocos, the Oreos. How droll. Old time's sake. Naturally... <laughs> He's so green in here. Well, it's the Martian Manhunter. I know. I'm so used to him being like a teal. And that was easy. Uh, my, there sure certainly are a lot of them, but they're all dressed like no sense, and they're all alike. No sense of individual individual style. They're robots, Ralph. Beam down here from the cluster starship that's hovering directly over Superbody's headquarters here in Queens. And lo uh, all because Lord Manga Khan wants to take his former servant, Elrond, who's been living here on Earth with us, back to space with him. Is there some reason why you two are suddenly talking like plot summaries? Oh, it's one of those cute things we do. Cute. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How long do you think Max and Khan are going to be in there talking? Please be. Max is trying to avoid an interstellar incident. He's never been, exact been exactly been the soul of diplomacy. There's more to that man than you realize. Oh, is there, is there now? And when did you begin to understand the complexities of our fearless leader? Perhaps why we're all locked away by our mysterious kidnappers and you and Max were left alone? Your mind's in the gutter again, B. At least I'm honest about it, Sue. You know, those robots look like big toys. Toys? And the ones that change into cars and planes and stuff. I think they were Japanese. Mary, dear, those are killer robots from outer space. They are not toys. I didn't say they were. I said they look like toys. <laughs> um, hold on. Oh, oh yeah. If you're, uh, oh, on. oh yeah. If you're married to that, no wonder you find Max so mesmerizing. Which you're off by one letter. Oh look, it's North, the former pseudo Green Lantern who's been a pain in our collective butt for years. Don't forget that I'm now a prisoner of the cluster, and they want to trade me for Elrond. And why, pray tell, are they letting you out? Hunt him for a hydrant. You know. Right. Mm? You know, gotta lift the old leg. Ah, thanks for sharing. No, avert your eyes, ladies. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are, are inside our headquarters, you, Maxwell Lord, leader of the newly formed Super Buddies, me, Elrond, your robotic assistant, 
and Manga Khan himself, uncontested ruler of the cluster. I think we know that, Elrond. Just making sure your adultishness. Now let me make it, it, make this perfectly clear, Khan. Elrond is not up for grabs. Would, and would that I could accept your refusal, human. But I fear that my priorities must supersede yours. And choices laid before me tear my soul asunder. Though it's true we have come together as like minds in the past, today we go where angels fear to tread. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. It tolls for thee. What is he talking about? He suffers from a rare mental disease called soliquina. It's a chem chemical imbalance in the brain. Shall I ask Chilo for his medication? If you could, Elrond. You know, there's something here I don't get. It's been years since you left Elrond with us. Why is the sudden need to have him back? I am Manga Khan. You, my needs are so beyond your comprehension that your paltry mind can never grasp their complexity. Before your world and world was, Khan was. Before your sun burned, burned hot in the firmament. Before your race was burned from the cosmic womb, the great Khan was wandering the spaceway. His legend sp spreading from planet to planet. You can no more understand me than an insect can understand you. Do you see now the futility of this question? Ah, the sheer hopelessness of your quest. And yet I feel your desperate desire to probe the layers of my being, the veils that surround... Okay, okay, forget I... Just forget I asked! <laughs> yeah, in this case, they're make, they're trying to make their way back and everything, so... Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, come on. I, I, oh, admit it, John. You don't want to leave. I absolutely want to leave, Wally. Unfortunately, I'm all too aware that the JLA must remain here in order to avert the inevitable disaster. It sounds like you have minimal competence in them, John. I have no competence in them. Oh, ye of little face. You're enjoying this, aren't you? I'm Batman. I don't enjoy anything. Uh-huh. So you used to run with so you used to run with these guys, huh, Johnny? Actually, Flash and, and Plas, I used to run with them. John flew. I, I, um, but I wouldn't talk about it too much. You'll embarrass him. I'm not embarrassed. Well, you should be. They've got a guy in there with an elastic body, and all he's does is stretch. Never turns into a parking meter or a taxi or... I just want to keep an eye on things. Don't trust them, huh? Trust isn't the issue. Oh, really? So from here, we check up on the JSA, the Titans, the Doompa. Okay, trust is the issue. Don't the people in the neighborhood realize the danger? Look at them, acting as if this is some kind of street party. Yeah, and I think that guy in the corner is cooking up some ribs. Maybe I should whoosh down there and... You, st like, you stay right where you are. Can you blame the locals for wanting to make a party of it? Their actions are foolish and inconceived. Or aren't we the judgmental goddess tonight? <laughs> They're treating face. Wonder Woman like a bitch here. Uh, yeah. What? But I, obviously, they're going back and forth. Mind if I ask you something? Go ahead. What's your problem? You mean aside from being abducted by the house and almost beaten to death by Mary Marvel? I thought she attacked Captain Adam. I was this close to joining him in the hospital. And that's why you're being so nasty to me? Well, you can look at it two ways. Either my constant sarcasm is a defense mechanism covering up my intense vulnerability and insecurity, or I really don't like you. Some choice. Um, how's Mary dealing with all this? It's the fact that she nearly murdered one of our of her teammates. How do you think? You gotta stop beating yourself over up over this. You were being mind controlled. You didn't know what you were doing. I almost killed him. Those eggheads at Star Labs will have Cap up and running in no time. I hope so. But it doesn't change the fact that I did what I did. Read my lips. You weren't yourself. Really? Then who was I? Sue is so much better at this than I am. You want me to talk to Sue? Can we keep my name out of it? Is the medication wor working, my former lord and master? I'm feeling much better now, Elrond. Thank you. At least I could do your dread dreading this. Now, Mr. Lord, let me put it this more directly. Everyone has a price. Not this time. Your resistance is the sign of a skilled barterer. I'm not bartering! There's nothing to negotiate! Elrond stays. That's it. Why, sir, you really do have a backbone. Bravo! So what, say, what you're saying is you want me to sweeten the deal. I'm not saying anything of the kind. There is no deal, Khan, and I think it's time you... Sweeten, don't weaken now, your waffle and waffle ship. We have learned that you are no longer wholly human, that you are, in fact, a cyborg. Uh-oh. What if we used our superior technology, here it comes, to make you human again? 
well, I better go pack my bag. The merchandise design designated North will expedite the disposal of its waste product. You try and doing this with half the neighborhood watching. Go away, Booster. Oh boy, yeah, this is leading them constantly arguing more and more. Like, it's bad enough if you hadn't changed one iota since our JLA days. But for God's sake, you've devolved. I'd be insulted if I knew what that meant. It's like you made some conscious choice to be a moron, to regress into a perpetual state of adolescent idiocy. Now I know I'm insulted. Well, you should be. Sure, we had a lot of fun in the old days playing the Abbott Costello of the spandex set. But even then, Booster, you had a brain in your head. You tried and hard to conceal it, but we all knew it was in there somewhere. Abbott and Costello? I thought it was Martin and Lewis. You're not even listening. Oh, I'm listening. You know what? I've had enough. For, I'm from the future, remember? This isn't my time. I've worked damn hard to try and adjust to your asinine world. And believe me, it hasn't been easy. But you even think to ask me, really ask me how I'm doing? No, you just sit there high and mighty judgment. And I don't even know who you are anymore. Want to know who I am? I'm Ted Korn. I've grown up. You ought to try it sometime. Try this. Uh-oh. It would be those two. What was it? What was that? I didn't hear anything. Did you hear anything? Nope, not me. Nothing. Nope, nothing. My lord, we have a situation. You said it. I got so nervous with everyone looking at me that I couldn't go. The merchandise will be silent. If you could just let me dig a little hole in the backyard. Silent and silent. Yeah, yes, ma'am. The, the bots are down. Incapacitated. Unknown at present. So, while you were in here feigning negotiations, your lackeys attacked like the savage beast they are. Oh, the treachery the per and perfidity. Hey, hey, wait a minute. You can't just go start accusing me of perfidity. Whatever that is. We had no way of knowing if it's one of my pe people. Uh, Max, can I uh, talk to you for a second? Does it have anything to do with that sudden patong we just heard? Could be. Oh, the treachery the... And take a couple more pills and hold the melodrama for half a minute. I'm sure we can clear this up and all just stay calm. You really don't believe that, do you, sir? No. Uh, if, as if the world doesn't have enough problems. You had to go and start an intergalactic war. There you are, overreacting again. That was the idea of taking a swing at me anyway. Oh, my only regret is that I missed. Listen, you narcissistic nitwit. Oh, stuff it, you pompous jackass. Beetle. Booster. Figures. Tell me we can talk our way out of it. We can talk our way out of this. Really? Of course not. Most unfortunate. I can explain. Hmm? No, I can't. <laughs> I am more than willing to ignore this blatant act of aggression if you return the Elron unit to me. A. Hey, and if we don't, total annihilation of your planet. The whole planet? Yes, the whole planet. How do you totally annihilate half a planet? Well, then, Khan, you leave me no choice. Tonk! I didn't see that. Just see that. You sure did. Mix this clock, Manga Khan. You know, he kind of punches like a sissy. How he punches isn't the point. What Khan does next is... Max hit that big robot? Yep. Uh, was that a smart thing to do, given the circumstances? Nope. Shouldn't we do something? Running for cover sounds like a good idea. Well, now you've really done it. Me? Why is everything my fault? That's something only a good therapist can answer. You know, I guarantee that we'll be laughing about this in a couple of minutes. In a couple of minutes, Earth will no longer exist. Come on, with your arm on, you couldn't have felt that. Even with his armor off, he wouldn't. He couldn't have felt that. No disrespect in, intended, sir, but you punch like a sissy. I do not! Whatever you say, your limp this. Enough! You have refused to barter in good faith. Attack my guards unprovoked and soiled my person with your filthy human hand. Of course you realize this means war. All right, see? All of those robots I knocked over are getting up again. No harm done. They're charging their weapons. No, they're not. They're just checking them to make sure they didn't break when they all fell down. Booster, they're charging we their weapons. They're going to kill us. Are you in total denial or just stupid? Let me think about that. What are we talking? Five? Ten to one? For starters, they probably got salads more in the cluster ship. We surrender! No, we don't. Of course we do. No, we don't. Susan, please. Khan's clearly bluffing. No, he's not. Of course he is. No, he's not. Uh, you really think he's Oatway Offingbley? I orderly tay Urton's A. Well, then, and then we take him hostage. No, you don't. Of course we do. No, you don't. Force and force field? Not without taking some of them in with us. Flight wing? I'm not leaving you behind. I thought maybe you, you could, you know, carry me. Well, you could have just said that. It's more, I'll be more specific if this comes up in my next. 
Incar incarnation and Mary Tomb. Mr. Costa thought you could, Mr. Costa thought you could use a hand. Uh, there are six more behind you. No problem. Excuse me, Mayor, but the way you're holding me is kind of uncomfortable. Oh, I'm sorry. You think maybe you could just put the hand a little lower? Booster, what I do? Disarm them. Witch them. All of them. All of them. Do it. Boy, you and boy, you sure got up on the wrong side of the canal today. Go. I'm gone. About that oversight drooling dog, the robot with the big tush was leading around. I've never seen him before, and I'm sticking to that story, no matter what they do to me. I mean, hey, John, see, it really is him. You're right. Hey, jo and Johnny, how are you doing, old buddy, old pal? And look, there's Batman. Hey, Batman. Um, I'm in control of my emotions. I'm in, co I'm in control of my emotions. I'm in control of my emotions. I'm in control of my emotions. Here you go, John. Disarmed. I'm this forewarned or something like that. John, John, up here. Uh, I think someone's calling you. I know. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'm just hoping they'll go away. Now, John, now, John, no one ever solved a problem by ignoring it. You are enjoying this. Don't tell anyone. It'll ruin my image. Really? Really? A Martian? He's green, isn't he? Aren't they supposed to have antennas? He's very shy about exposing his, but I'd be happy to show you. Booster! You have antenna? Could you please go back to being unbearably grim? It was so much more tolerable. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those bots standing there like morons, wondering where their weapons went. Way to go, Flash, old buddy. The Flash is here? Was here. Didn't you catch that red blur? Happily, no. My, my. Do I take a hint of bile in your voice? You ever get your butt grabbed 500 times in 10 seconds? Uh, not that I recall. Did you slap his face? I find third-degree burns are more effective. Oh, yeah, now I remember. Poor kid had his hands bandaged for months. Except exactly what does this taken hostage entail? We lock you in the basement with no food and water until the cluster surrenders. No food and water. Hmm. Tele and television? Just the major networks. No cable station. Not even Lifetime? Not even Lifetime. I mean, what is she doing? It's called psychological warfare. Guess living with Dibney really toughens a woman up. I like a tough woman. Considering the way you punch, it's not surprising. Now cut that out! So, are we going for ransom here? Too much as I appreciate your tenacity, we are not holding him hostage. He thinks we are. How many beatings? There won't be any beatings, but you will tie me up. We're not holding you hostage. Good to hear. Would it, would it help if I told you to go away? Why, Max? You wound me. Does this mean I don't get locked in the basement? Flash, are you trembling? Uh, no. But keep an eye on fire for me, will you? It's, and it's Daddy here to reprimand the wayward kids. It's not like that. John, Beetle's been picking on me. Then again, John, and it's so good to see you. Uh, good to see you too, Beatrice. She wasn't that happy to see me. Martian, Martian pheromones. The women go absolutely wild. Was that a joke from a ruthless, obsessive creature of the night? Don't be absurd. Am I the only one who finds this sudden emergence of a sense of humor deeply disturbing and troubling? Mm, As a yes. fair trade for the safe return of a barter item designated Manga Khan, barter and barter item? I'm afraid so, sir. Go on. The, the cluster would in the surrender any and all claims to the Elrond unit and agree to designate Sol System Orbital Mass 2224B here and after to be known as Earth as a no barter zone. Persi and pursuant to the t and taboo ter and territories writ of numbers, I mean, Elrond, I mean, I mean, Ironclad, sir. And what about, I think I'm going to be regret this. What about Nort? Nort, present and accounted for. And I'd like to, and, and, and I'd like, and I'd like to say that the merchandise will be silent. Nort is to be freed upon rat ratification, my lo uh, lord, lord. I know I'm going to regret this, but in this. Well then, Khan, it looks like we got ourselves a deal. Khan? Manga? He's a trifle upset. You think? JLA make a habit of spying on newly formed. We weren't spying, Max. Oh, really, Jean? Then what would you call it? In, in, intimate observation. Yeah, so intimate I could feel you breathing up my... Now, Max, let's not be hostile. I want you to give me one good reason why the Justice League should be sticking their superlative, superlative nose in our business, Beetle and Booster. Those are two reasons. I asked for one. And, and, why, and they can't help themselves, Max. They really think the world can't get along without them. Well, I've got news flash for you, Batman. Muscle heads in a funny costumes are a dime a dozen. We don't need your help. Living with Ralph really isn't isn't is, is really getting to you, 
isn't it? Ralph, Batman just insulted you. I'll add him to the list. So you're telling me you've never once turned into a fire hydrant? A fire hydrant? Was Nord around? What the hell about a car? Or a lawn chair? Maybe I mean, having a little identity crisis, are we? I know this fantastic therapist on the Upper West Side of town. Uh, where's Captain Adam? Wasn't he part of... Uh, he's in the hospital. Hospital? What happened? Mary Marvel nearly beat him to death. But he's okay now. He should be out in a couple of days. Ah, Mary Marvel, he got beat up by a girl. <laughs> How woefully... Uh, woefully uh, what did you just say? Uh, wah ha ha how woefully past say. Oh, come on, Ralph. You've got to admit it's kind of funny. Cap getting his clock beat by a Beatrice de Costa. Never mention that name. We bit, oh, I don't know, arrogant? Why? Because I disapprove of this entire venture? You must admit that your bumbling nearly caused an extraterrestrial incident that could have bumbling. I do not doubt your intentions are noble. Well, actually, I do, but for sake of argument's sake, let's say they are. But the sheer ineptitude of your organization is staggering. There! That's the arrogant right there! I would seriously resync my involvement with these super buddies. Bitch. What did you just say? I said thank you ever so much, O oh goddess from, the high, from on high, for being your, and to bestow your wisdom upon us mere as mortal. That's not what it sounded like. Oh, you got that right. Bitch. If it were not for misplaced affection, John feels that for this group, I would. Don't let B get to you, D, and die. Die? I think if the two of us just sat down alone together, we could work everything out. The merchandise will be silent. But I, hey! Hey, I don't know about you, kid, but I'm starving. How about we go get some food and girl talk? Wonder Woman, she's not coming, is she? Nope, and it's on me. What's the idea of talking to me like I'm North? If the collar fits, look! Can we call it truce? You stop treating me like I'm an immature idiot. I'll stop and, and making fun of your alleged heart condition. I don't understand. It's not alleged. See, you're yelling again. What kind of truce is that? Believe me, I wouldn't invite Miss Huber to share a cup of hemlock. You know, I've always admired her so much. But now that I met her, she really is a... No, Uncle Marvel always told me if you can't say something nice about someone, you shouldn't say anything. Uncle Marvel? That the bunny? No, the bunny's name is Hoppy. Well, I hope you get to meet him someday. He's just the sweetest. We, we are all part of a great sisterhood, united in the transcendent ideals of the feminine spirit. Why do they not like me? <laughs> uh, not your finest hour, sir. I was there. Is wishy-washy hyphenated wishy-washy for the permanent record. This is going on my permanent record, as it has been and been with the cluster since time imm imm immemorial. So shall it always be. What? Apologize, your long twistedness. Your turgidness is starting to rub off on me. Hyph and hyphenated. What? Wish you why she is hyphenated. The things we do for love, J Lo. Of course, but of course, you've dated him, you know. Ours was a brief, tempestuous, and ultimately unsatisfying love affair. Whereas I have been holding this bright. Oh, God, he did want to marry him! What the heck? Remember, um, Elrond saw, like, to make me his bride? It's true, he did want Elrond back to marry him. Why is he not sparkly anymore? Because he got, and because, uh, that was for show. Oh. But yeah, Maxwell Lord, trying to sleep. Got an over here for a picture window. Super buddies. You want to take this, Elrond? Not particularly. I can still come manga come back, you know, and get Batman, and get, and get Batman mad at you again. I think not. But I'll do this out of the kindness of my prefabricated heart. You're too good to me. That's what seems to be the case. So, and so what's your story? You one of them Japanese robot? Actually, I am a self-contained, biosemantic, cybernetic robot. It, right. Super buddies, huh? Cute. What we got here? Some kind of kitty daycare? Precisely. Speaking of the kitties, oh beloved leader, trying to sleep. But I'm, but I'm curious what you, and the, uh, you chose to do with the obnoxious canine creature. Nort? I signed him up. Surely you just. Nope. In fact, I asked him to chair a new chapter to Super Buddies. Ah, I begin to understand, sir. And where would his new chapter be? Take a wild guess. Antarctica or bust. <laughs> so, what did you think? Oh, that was great. <laughs> All right. So, and so, yeah, so, um, so, yeah, overall, what did you think about the, I mean, obviously we're going to do another episode with the next one, so, but what did you think, oh, wow, this is even longer than the other ones. 
It was only so then the um, then the secret identity ones. Oh, the two hours. Yeah. So, but overall, what did you think about the artwork and the um, and the, you know, the writing? It reminded it reminded me of that um, the Hero Squared one. Yep, same uh, thing except for the artwork. So this is my first time seeing something like Booster Gold break the fourth wall. We well, didn't first fully time... break the fourth wall. Mm, what? What happened? He didn't fully break the fourth wall. Well, no, he talked about how he he was being written by comic book writers. Oh yeah, well yeah, but no, no, they're making a joke about in universe. There's comic right written about them. So they know about that? No, 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 no. There are in universe comics being written about them. Yeah. So, but that, but that's not about always about their adventures. So yeah, they are aware about the in-universe comics. Ovid has meant to be an XP about you know the actual creators. Then that's weird. Then. Uh... <laughs> no, no, no. It's an in gag. It's an in gag statement. It's more they're leaning on the force wall than they are actually breaking the force wall. Okay. Like I said, there's an in-universe comic made about them that were written by in-universe J.M. Day Mateus and Keith Giffen. So he's more taking pot shots at the in-universe version, which is him then actually making a pot shot at the real-world versions. But he, the rest don't know about that, right? Only the, him? the rest know about the in-universe comic just as much as he do, does. He was just to do it. He himself was making a pot shot. Okay. But so yeah, who would you say was your favorite character in all this? My favorite character, uh, elongated man. Still elongated man? I was thinking it was gonna be Mary or somewhere. Was she too cutesy? She was boring. Oh really? You seem to like her at the start. But uh, what about that. what about um what about um Sue? Sue's pretty awesome. <laughs> she reminds me of a, of a Lois Lane almost. Yep. And what about Max? He's good. Elron? The uh, the robot. Robot. Uh, he had a good sass to him. He had a good sass, but I find him less enjoyable than Max. Yeah, definitely. Um, what about Booster and Beetle? Booster and Beetle were the highlight. <laughs> but let's be honest, though, Booster was annoying. But in that kind of like you like the annoyance, but you also hate the annoyance. Like you both like and hate it. Would you agree? No, with that? I love it, love it. But if oh, it was did? a real person, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but yeah, but but unfortunately, though, Captain Emma is not going to appear in the next one. But I think they also realized they wrote him too straight. Out of the... all of them, he was the the most straight of them, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. And and fire, I gotta be honest, I do not like bitchy fire. I do not. Okay, so she's not always like that. Uh, under these guys, she is, and unfortunately, they're the ones who've written her the most. But most mm. of the time, they're not, they're not. But I think the next mini will be will redeem her. Oh. All right, but um, and the replacement for um for Captain Adam is going to be an interesting one. Cool. But we'll see you all on that one as we go into the, I can't believe it's not the Judge League, but guys, did this make you want to buy it? Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye.